How's it going, my friends? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be playing Dune, and uh, we're going to do two matches. Maybe three. Depends on how long they take. But the first one, I'm going to be playing the Fremen. Just recently watched the uh, Dune trailer. Got hyped to play a little bit of Fremen, so I'm not super good at them, but we're going to learn. So I'll be on Fremen. Hadri's on Atreides. Uh, Shalid here on Ikaz, and uh, Cap on the Carino. So we're going to get this party started. Have some fun. Good luck to everybody. And here we go. So we'll play two games today. And if you guys have the game, uh, feel free to join the lobbies once we do the next ones. We'll get new sets of players in and, uh, and yeah, have a good time. We'll have a good time indeed. So we're going to be playing the Fremen. Going to be going probably for a hegemony victory. Uh, they're really good at that. They can get crazy authority production. And uh, I'll be basically, it's just going to be me on mic right now. Maybe for the second game, we'll do like group chat. But basically, I can explain what I'm doing more now without giving away too much information to my opponents. Because normally, you know, when I'm playing with like three or four people, and if I can't really explain my strategies too much without them knowing. Um, so yeah, that's going to be that. That is going to be that. All right. So um, we have, I'll show you the, the advisors we have in a second. Uh, one of them is Stilgar. Stilgar gives you authority for every spice field you have. And the other one, Mother Amalo, basically just makes you better at harvesting spice. And that's that's basically it. She also, I believe, gives you an extra spot for uh, a worker on your spice fields. So you can get a little bit more action going there. But first things first, we summon two warriors. Um, and we need to find the spice fields immediately. So that's usually what you want to get started on. Or Plascrete. Like, one of the two is good. And always want to build the second Ornithopter, in my experience. All right, where the hell is, which one is this? All right, so it's right here. So warriors are out. We have Stilgar, plus one authority per spice field. And he does also give you, um, yeah, you get upkeep production for like spice fields and their neighboring territories and things like that, which is pretty cool. All right, so we're going to get this, move up, and um, cool. So, so far, so good. We're going to take this bad boy down. And it uh, looks like it's no range unit, so we don't really need to worry. This game does have some micro, like it's kind of RTS in some ways. Like you can bounce back and like, you know, force the AI to aggro different things. But obviously when it comes to PvP, it's a bit of a different beast. So our other character is Mother Romalo. She lets us build the Shai Halud temple in our villages. Uh, and also the harvesting teams gain stealth, which is really nice. Because Fremen can actually um, work spice fields that they're not even close to. It's pretty hilarious. See, if there's a like a neutral spice field, you can go work it until somebody takes it, which is rad. So, all right, let's keep this going. We're just about to get it. And we'll take this bad boy over. And uh, cool. So yeah, just keep scouting about. We do have another recon plane. So let's see what fields are nearby. First things first, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, local dialect studies, and composite materials, and Fremen solidarity. And I'll show you what those do in a second. All right, so let's get some militia here just to be safe. So as far as the techs go, this first tech here, local dialect, make it cheaper to take villages. Fremen Solidarity gives you quicker agent re uh, recruitment, and Compost gives you Plascrete production, which is really good in the early game. Typically, you want to get that. I'll, like Finding a place with Plascrete would be good. This is a nice one, too, though. The Abandoned Imperial Station. So if we take that, um, it's gonna, and we build a research post, it's going to give us 20 Solari, which is really nice. So, All right, uh, what do we want to do here? Plascrete Factory, for sure. Out of the gates, and we need to make a harvesting team. So Fremen, you don't build... You don't build them in the same way. You build a harvesting team out of your main base and you send them to spice fields. So, all right, you wanna make sure to get on the range units if you can. And one of the first techs we're gonna get is gonna be the Arrakis Secrets. It reveals all the spice fields on the entire map. So then we could start like planning around just rushing the spice fields with our harvesting teams and just getting super rich off that. And here's the spice meter on the side. If you guys have any questions since I'm you know off mic right now, uh, yeah, I'm not chatting with other players. Feel free to just, just hit me up. Don't be shy. I can certainly answer questions now. Oh, this game's so much fun, dude. It's it's a great time. It's really good. Lots of fun politics and scheming. We have our post. So you see now it spawns at our base and we just send it to the spice field. And that is that. So hegemony victory. Definitely need to keep an eye out. So we are on the western side of Arrakis. Yeah, it looks like the... Uh, we got to see who's near us. So we have Ekaz and we have, uh, we have Carino and Atreides. No Harkonnens. It's going to be a pretty peaceful game, I suppose. Harkonnens usually pretty aggressive. Fremen Solidarity coming out, and then we can get Arrakis' secrets after this. That'll give us all the spice fields. I played Ekaz off stream. Yeah, they're 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 pretty fun. They seem very powerful, like very very powerful. All right, so three Solari per statecraft building. So each village also has traits you want to look out for. 
Um, this village, for example, is just straight up cheaper. Um, and is there anything else we want to do here? Uh, we could get water. The water in this region over here is better for sure. But probably need to start getting some manpower. Play this game again. It's pretty complicated. Yeah, it's fun. It's a good game. Good, solid fun. All right, we got a deep desert to the south of us, which is good. Um, ooh, that's a good one right here. So this gives the... Yeah, this is like a sacred side of sorts. Okay, you always want to get like a, at least a one or two militia in your villages out of the gate. So like if, if the AI raids them, you don't just like lose it right away, right? And we should be able to get Arrakis' secret soon. Yeah, that's a really, really nice one. Very nice for sure. We can learn where all the spice fields are. Oh, you also want to be on the lookout for like events on the ground, like these little buildings. You can go investigate them with your troopers. And they usually give you some sort of a, a bonus, which is good. Uh, no, we, yeah, these are all other players. We have Hadri's on uh, Atreides, Ikaz is Shal, and then we have a uh, cap on the uh, the Karina, on the Padishah Emperor. Yes, yes. All right, so it's all coming together. Spice fields are going fine. Would like to find more spice fields. Oh, and we find one right here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We need a little bit more manpower, obviously. Manpower is how you build those. So we're going to get you, put you on Arrakis, which in in increases our authority, essentially. All right. For some reason, he's just, like, not feeling that. All right, sometimes you have to, like, double-click it to get them to do that. Trade request from the Emperor, which is not good. Typically, um, the Emperor will benefit more from those alliances. So, yeah, I'm not going to want any of that. And we do get another gyrocopter here. <laughs> See the Warhammer is bleeding through here. Um, all right, so that's per statecraft building. We do need water, so let's get water here. And then here, we can also slap down a maintenance center which would reduce the upkeep of these buildings. So we're going to do that, and then eventually we'll um, be surrounding that to make it a little better. Oh, another spice field up here. This might be a little bit safer, plus it's like closer to the sacred site. All right. Don't know where this guy is. All right, so he fully researched this, so it's going to give us some intel, which is cool. And uh, do we have enough authority to take another base? We do. All right, so this one, I probably want to save up for this. It is 87, and there are three units there, so I probably need another soldier to take that down. So we'll build an infiltrator here in a second. Uh, yeah, Fremen can mine spice in neutral territories. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Pretty hardcore. That's uh, definitely part of the game plan. And we're about to discover where all the spice fields are. I see one here, I see one here. So we're going to go like spice those up. My game plan is to take all the, um, the legendary sites and then get the valuable trinkets to build craft workshops at those. And that gives you just a shit ton of hegemony. It's very, very good, so. All right, waiting for you. And we do have, what's this? Uh, ooh, preserve the runes. Okay, how much is that gonna cost? 400 Plascrete? Looks like uh, everybody's pretty much the same in hegemony here. Just waiting for this guy to come out. Uh, how's your balance? The balance project's going good, yeah, absolutely. We'll be doing more Total War and more Age of Empires in the next few days. It kind of hurt my hand a little bit, so um, that's why I'm playing Dune mostly. So we don't want this. This is not good. We'll vote a little bit here, and um, let's just put this on ECAS if we can. ECAS, like, really, I find just pops off super quickly, so to kind of slow him down a little bit, I think that's good. So we're going to head up here and grab this. All right, what do we want to get here per statecraft building? All right, so we could get the intel production, but I think manpower is going to be better earlier because we need manpower to build the harvesting caravans. And we can also stockpile more. So you can slide this uh, spice slider on the side to either sell more spice or hold more spice to the chome. After, of course, making sure you have enough to pay your taxes, which is good. Just like real life, it's great. All right, so let's move up here. Wait for that infiltrator to get in position and we can build another harvesting team. And we need manpower to get the harvesting teams all saturated as well. All right, so now we can go ahead and get Freedom Fighters. It'll give us Solari per neutral village. And uh, yes, it should be good. All right, so let's get you on the range teams here. Tag those, tag those. And we have another agent. So we're going to throw this agent onto the Spacing Guild to give us more manpower. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what houses they add next. I know there's, uh, I know in their blog post they said there's like plans to add one for sure. Like it's, it's in the works basically. So what do we want to get here? Building costs, Intel, if it has a building of each type. So we need a statecraft building here. Let's get a knowledge. And let's grab this, outstanding. Our caravan is ready. So we're going to send it over um, this way. 
Yes, good, my minions go. So yeah, it's really cool that Fremen can mine spice in uh, regions they don't own. It's If somebody takes it, though, it gets rid of, like, you have to rescue your harvester. It can go down. Taren, what do you think about all the recent hotfixes from CA? Uh, yeah, it's nice to see, for sure. Unfortunately, not a lot of it is addressing multiplayer stuff, but you understandably campaign's the main facet of the game, so. All right, so that looks good. Um, from here, we can get spying logistics to get more agents quicker, and then we want to get the valuable trinkets to get the craft workshops. Probably is what's going to be going down. So now we're at our main building here. We're going to go ahead and build the administrative hall early to get 30% uh, uh, authority production. 100% of the village's production, water production is Solaria. Oh, that's really good. That's actually a really nice trait there. That's super good. So then we just build wind traps there and cackle. Should be able to take this next base in a second. Give it to me, Precious. Give me the wind trap. It's going to be quite a bit of money from this one. So this is what's called a... Uh, uh, I don't even know what the term would be. Like a sacred site of sorts for any of you guys coming from Total War. Or excuse me, Age of Empires. Uh, Alright. So yeah, we're getting spice from the field there. Outstanding. Let's go grab some of these like neutral resource nodes around the map. Slap a heavy militia in there. And all is going well. <laughs> They've chained a second program to the desk in the CA dungeon. <laughs> yeah, I see Hadrius over here spying. He's he's got his uh, he's got his flyers over here, so he's probably nearby. We haven't discovered where anybody else is quite yet. Okay, so local dialect studies is finished, and we're getting spying logistics just to get more agents. The chome market is open. I'm going to buy some shares early so I can sell them later. So this is basically the stock market. If you own a high percentage, Carino already owns 9%. Jeez, they're going hard in the paint. Oh my god. Uh, you get benefits. So you, you can get like military strength, influence, and also if you own 50%, you just straight up win the game, which is which is pretty nuts. All right, so we need to get another caravan here in a second. Um, we'll probably take that village. Although down here, this one might be better to just rush because it has uh, some good income infrastructure. Yeah, well, anyways, we'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. So the seed should be concluding soon. We're seeing, we can see all the spice fields on the map. See how we see purple? We can see the purple nodes. So we can send harvesting teams to any of those. And because we have, um, Mother Amalo, all of our stealth, our crews are stealth. Like our, so we can like just sit there in mine until somebody takes the territory, which is pretty cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, this region's really good. We're gonna get a dew collector here too, because that's just gonna even further augment it. Let's get another spice harvester. Arrakis Dune, yes, yes. The good times are rolling. This game's so fun, dude. I love it. I've been playing it like almost every day offline for the past couple of days. All right, heading to the south. Um, we see. Yeah, our guys haven't like manually scouted out far enough yet. Let's go ahead and get the Arrakis. And we're working on spying logistics. Good. We're gonna grab this. These regions are nice, the rare elements, because you can process them and get pretty good money from that. <coughs> I'll definitely take this. Might as well. I don't want the Atreides to like snipe it. It looks like Hadrius has been snooping over there for a while with his flyer, so. Yeah, gotta watch out. Alright, so we have you there. You go here and uh, go up here. So here and here. Our dudes are going after this village, but we need to get on the range units so we don't lose stuff. And uh, outstanding. Lands rad. The Fremen basically barely have any say in the lands rad, which is obviously makes sense. You get like a little bit of influence, but it sure as hell is not how you win games with the, with the Fremen through the uh, through the lands rad. Fremen are really good at hegemony because they have some of the best authority production in the game. It's it's like pretty nuts. Like every harvesting team gives me additional authority, so. All right, let's take that. And um, this would be a nice place to. Oh, allows the Fremen to kind of fuel cell factories and ceremonial caves. Uh, interesting, okay. The Great Volcano. All right. So I just got scouted here, which is not a good sign. Somebody just like is checking me out. I don't know who's doing that, but it's making me a little bit nervous. All right, let's get this. Uh, and we now have the spice fields being worked on several fronts. We got you down here. Let's get the processing plant and uh, get some militia to defend this. And cool. We should be pretty high in hegemony. We're not like the highest, but Atreides is pretty close to us. Atreides can play hegemony very well too. Because they can snipe all the uh, the the special sites with their uh, the remote annexation. Yeah, oh man, I'm I'm so excited for the next Dune movie too. It's gonna be really fun, I'm sure. The first one was great, so you know. 
All right, anything we want to do? Really, really, oh, no, we don't want that. So let's decline that. You see, the Emperor is trying to force us all into non-aggression packs with this. So we're going to we're gonna vote against that because obviously, um, you know, I need to be aggressive. with Fremen are typically like you build up and then you get aggressive and get real crazy because every village you liberate from your opponents because of the freedom fighters, you get, you get like a nice little uh, economic boon. You get 500 gold, which is great. All right. Oh, you know, we got to finish that. Let's resolve that. Outstanding. We can set up some missions. So let's go ahead and do this. And the gear sabotage. How are we looking down here? So far, so good. We got more agents. So let's assign it to the chome to get a little bit more dough. And I would like to take another site. But let's go ahead and get another spice harvester. We'll just take this for now. Keep expanding out. But we do need to get another like special site. Maybe we just go down and get the Great Volcano. This one will cost only 65, so should be pretty cheap to take. How difficult is learning Dune compared to Civ 6? Um, I would say it's probably, hmm, hard to say, probably simpler than Civ 6. There's some there's some cultures that are just really, really, um, okay, so we almost have valuable trinkets, which is good. Let's take that. So the Fremen don't really use fuel cells. You rather, um, when you take the sites, you can build these things called, uh, I forget what it is, but it basically gives your entire army military strength. I'll show you in just a second. Oh yeah, the Pharaoh game came out, didn't it? Yeah, I was I was wondering how that was. All right, let's uh let's go down here. So we're working that spice field, that spice field, and the one in our base. Wolves do not cause harm in their dens. All right, there we go. So we're gonna go all the way like that. We should have 113. The volcano to annex is going to be 121. So let's go ahead and build a skirmisher here. Come down this way. It's the ceremonial caves. So it gives it, we lose a little bit of spice production, but we do get that. Which is incredibly nice. Okay, so we probably need more manpower. We can build in the siege. Yep, we're gonna do that to increase our spice production by 15% since we're just going hard in the spice. Yeah, it's basically a, a sweat lodge, right? Yeah. Let's head down. Let's go get the Great Volcano. And Valuable Trinkets will finish next. And when that finishes, we can start on the. Um, the Chome integration and then go into military because we're going to get aggressive shortly after that. Military developments are slowed and leaving a truce. Okay. Yeah. So it seems like the emperor is cackling a little bit. He, he got his way. Uh, one building of each type in this region. So we need to make sure we spread that out. And our harvester is hustling down here. We need to get it to the spice fields before it runs out of supply. Come on. Wow. We still haven't encountered anybody. It's a big map, I guess. The big map indeed. Yeah, Fidekin are your elite units. So they're the Terminators. They're probably pound for pound some of the strongest units in the game. Uh, but they're very expensive upkeep. So you need to be pretty rich when you field them. Like it's very easy as Fremen to get a hard on and just spam like 20 of them. And then you're like, why is my economy dead? I think they have the most HP of any unit. Like they're just, they're pretty scary. Uh, we could buy some Chom stocks. Yeah, do we want to buy some Chom stocks? Sure, why not? Let's buy some Chom stocks. Let's like let's stay in the game. In case the hegemony victory doesn't work out, we want to have like an alternate win con. Okay, so you see we have spores, four spice fields being worked. We could even go up to five, but yeah, by going over there, oh, that's tempting. All right, let's do it, baby. Let's be the lords of spice. Uh, with that being said, we probably want to go like further into the spice tech, like the crew training, and get all that set, set up before we get aggressive. All right. All right, so let's take this. It's going to be a little bit of free money. Um, let's get our skirmisher down here, and we'll push. Yeah, they're the elite Fremen units. Uh, they unlock when you get 10k hegemony. So for now, they're still locked, but they will be coming in due time. All right, so this is the one. Yeah, this would increase economy building, so that's actually pretty good. So 30%, would it be that much? I don't know if it would even pay for itself. Um, Shaihulu Temple. Yeah, I like that. That's not bad. We can slap that bad boy down here. Oh no, we need the uh, craft workshop here. That's what we're waiting for. That's right. So craft workshop uh, is a building that gives you hegemony per day. It's very good. It's very, very good. All right. Um, so we're working that one. What other spice fields? Hadri's just took that spice field. So we have some down here. Let's go here, here, and down here and see if we can grab that. We're being really greedy. Do I watch rugby? Uh, I don't. I haven't really followed it, but it seems like it's certainly a fun sport. It's not super popular out here. 
Okay, the Chome integration is coming, so we're going to need to save up manpower. Um, so manpower production would be the recruitment center, which we want to get that next. Because currently we have cheaper building costs, so we should be building in our main base. Should have been doing that. Nah, it's all good. Who are you playing with today? We got Hadries on uh, Atreides uh, and two gentlemen from chat joining us who are probably really good. <laughs> if, uh, if my suspicions are correct. All right, let's go to the main base, build the recruitment center. And let's go grab this place. Yeah, Atreides, is, he's doing really good on hegemony for sure. Okay. Yes, let's get it. So we're on we're on five spice fields right now. So we can basically sell like all of our spice. And just cackle all the way to the bank. Looks like there's worms here. Looking good. And um, once we get enough manpower, we'll do a big upgrade to our spice infrastructure. How are we doing up top? So the craft workshop is done. We need to get on the range units and tie them down. So in this game, if you tag range units in melee, they'll basically be forced to do their... Yeah, chat is OP for sure. Like last time, um, we had the gentleman from chat who was just super good. I ended up playing with him again. It was We had we had a fun match with some assassinations and crazy stuff. All right, so we see Hadri's chilling. Atreides usually like never attack. They're very, very defensive. Um, so I'm not too stressed about that. All right, so we got one here, and let's go ahead and get the resource, uh, the reduction building there, upkeep production. Yeah, we're we're super spicy right now. All right, so what can we do? Economy developments, sure, we're doing that right now, so we'll vote for that to try and get the reduced economy developments. We, we're getting our sacred, our second legendary site, um, which is going to be big. Not seeing too many other ones around, so that's a little bit tricksy. But we can get the craft workshop. Let's get some militia. And what does this region have? Statecraft gives us... Okay, and production's cheaper too. Alright. So let's move up north and secure the spice fields. Because as people start to expand, we're going to lose our spice fields that we have. Unless we own the territory. Because people, they're neutral. So people could just take them, basically. Fremens also aren't the best at defending their lands. Because they don't have the airfields. You have to ride around on the worm, which you have like much more limited uh, limitations on, right? All right. So let's go ahead and add more workers here. That'll increase our spice production. We'll add more workers here. And continue just slapping the agents down. Head up top. We'll go secure the spice fields here. Looking good. And we should be pretty sauced on hegemony now. Yeah, I see we've taken over the hegemony lead. Because what's really OP about Fremen is that every single harvesting team we have in action, it gives us one authority. So we are just we are just gonna be cackling in authority. We can we can expand super hard. But the problem is is they'll team up on us if we get too far ahead. That's like my only concern. Yeah, it's a little bit a little bit scary. Oh, it's still cheap for another one point. Oh, we don't have enough uh, enough of this. Let's see if we can get one of these first. Yeah, we'll do this. Come on, research center, give it to me. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. It's still discounted for another, like, couple seconds. Oh, we got it. Okay. <laughs> we got it. Um, This is a great desert, so that's really hard for our opponents to cross. We do have a couple of good, great desert spots, which are certainly helping. And it looks like the research is going to be reduced here. Riches of Arrakis. Yes, we will do that. The South Desert is so big. You ever managed to drown it? It'd be a massive boon. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Surrounding this is going to be hard, though. But yeah, it's it's in the game plan. Um, yeah, so we're up on hegemony pretty good, although Hadrius is like right on our tail. I'm pretty confident we can at least do well against the Atreides in that regard. Okay, ceremonial caves. Oh, this one gives you ceremonial caves. But I do lose 10% spice reduction. That's pretty brutal. Um, so let's go ahead and get uh, water here, because it's a good water region. The Take the spice field here. And probably we start expanding towards the middle. These Atreides bases, his main base must be up here. Yeah, yeah, I see. Somebody, somebody took our uh, one of our spice areas here. Yeah, I, I wish, I wish double clicking on the unit would take me to where it is. But yeah, one of our spice fields is down for the count. Yep, that's gonna happen. Okay, so we're gonna get all our harvesters going. New villages controlled. Let's get some militia in there. 
And this is a, obviously a spice facility. Special traits. Gain 50% of the plascrete as a... Uh, that's nice. I haven't built plascrete in a long time either, so... Yeah, I don't see any sieges yet. Sieges are usually discovered by like like events and things like that, but I haven't really had the fortune of discovering any sieges at the moment. Alrighty. Would like to find some. Yeah, ceremonial bases. I'm gonna get it. It's just um Yeah, it just sucks to see the spice production go down, but at the end of the day it's probably worth it. Probably worth it. How are we looking here? Yeah, militia are holding. Right click on the unit should take you to it. Yeah, okay, so it's right clicking. Okay, there you are. Yeah, strange. When you double click it doesn't, but when you right click it does. So let's build the ceremonial caves. 10% military power is just too good to pass up on. Um, Riches of Arrakis is coming. I don't know who has what supervisors. Like, Hadrius could have Lady Jessica, for example, which makes attacking him like super annoying as Fremen, because Fremen have terrible influence. So they can just force you into non-aggression packs and things like that. Um, 165, we have that spice field. I believe we have three spice fields within our jurisdiction now. No, we don't. This one down here we need to get. We must go now. We're gonna do the worm. I'll show you guys how they uh, tra how you travel as Fremen, by the way. Might as well. We're doing very good on the spice though, for sure. All right, so yeah, that's just the Plascrete thing. We can build a spice silo to help out the spice production. We're ready to hunt. And let's go ahead and just travel down there. The explosive dude is super necessary to the army. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm not like super seasoned with Fremen, so I appreciate any advice. Uh, let's go down here and secure the spice field. So see, the worm comes, Shai Halud rolls up and just takes the homies there. It's pretty great. But you have limited charges. You can click to yeah. You can click to get their position. Indeed. All right. So heading down to the south. Um, now we need to get even more manpower. Let's go into the chome. Get nice and rich. I could start playing the stonk market again. Um, I do not own that many shares. That is for sure. And Shihalud's just the taxi service is here. We'll secure that. Um, Ekaz is here. I would not mind raiding Ekaz. Although they're, yeah, because we can we can definitely do some work against them. Oh, that's a nice little city too. So once we get some Fidekin, oh, the big boys are here. Yeah, we just got 10k hegemony. So a lot of other people right now probably don't have access to those. So we're going to go ahead and get the riches of Arrakis and then get some military training stuff. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so down here, what do we want to get? Oh, I get a little Plascrete factory. Sure, why not? Because we're kind of tight on that. Uh, looking up top, all's good. Shai Halud's chilling. How's water in this region? Not amazing, so we'll just build a Solari market. Uh, the Fidekin are... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're actually from the books. I, I could be mistaken, but... What do we want to get here? This one gives us 20% from Statecraft, so let's get some Militia. Alrighty. Water Sellers Union, so let's decline that. We don't want anybody to get that. Um, we'll put one point in Imperial Missionaries, which gives us 300 per... And uh, yeah, we got the big boys now. They're so expensive on upkeep though. I really don't want to build them until I'm gonna like actually strike. Which would be, I think, soon-ish. Let's go take this field. It's 164, but we have so much authority that we're gonna have it before you, before you know it. Manpower is not bad, but manpower is very, very expensive. So let's get the spice uh, refinery here. Yeah, no, I, I sent, in the beginning, I sent all my harvesters to neutral territory. See, I have one right here. Um, but yeah, now people are starting to expand, so it's becoming slightly harder. All right, let's uh, tie these guys down, pull you back if possible. All right, you can run down there and heal. Oh, it's actually kind of a hard one. There's like a lot of a lot of dudes defending that. Our unit power should be pretty good. Oh, it's because that's an infiltrator. Infiltrators are very weak. Don't lose the fight, Fremen. Get in there. All right, looks like we should be fine now. They are from the books. Yeah, they are. That's what I thought. I'm, I'm just kind of getting getting into the book series, so I'm not like an encyclopedic knowledge of that at the moment. All right, let's get our spice team sauced up. We should be able to take that one soon. Ekaz definitely needs to get raided. Because, uh, I mean, hmm. 
Atreides are pretty close to me on it. Like, if I can just weaken one faction, like, really heavily, um, so we get a military base building, that's right. And then in the siege, nothing we can build at the moment. Military base would not be the best here, I don't think. So we get this. Um, we can build the Shai Hulud Temple here, which doesn't really help us. Recycling plant, yeah, that's that lets us build our air force. I should probably build that in a safer territory, though. Yeah, let's get the knowledge building. And go back here, and we can build the spaceport back there. Because Fremen can play the Air Force. It's it's not bad. Yeah, the Fidekin, uh, they do take on the Sardaukar. Like, it's it's a, it's a good fight for you. In my games, I've usually beaten the crap. Like, in a straight-up fight, like, the Fidekin will, will take them down. It's I, I assume that's book accurate, right? At some point. Depends on where you are. Um... Okay. Yeah, we see these. These are just like these are just like prime areas for Fremen raiding. So we're gonna build two of these bad boys and maybe get a little bit crunk. You know, we're thinking about it. We can build the ceremonial cave. So our units should have a massive military military power buff right now. They should be like sauce to the gills. Yeah, we're gonna get the ships. I'm just making sure my guys are holding back the rebels wherever they can. Okay, so we need to get this going. This one gives us per economy building, so let's get a maintenance center here. And then we can slap some militia in there just in case it gets attacked. Yeah, it's all going good. We're pretty well ahead on hegemony. Um, we do see House Ekaz expanding to my borders, which is certainly scary. So what we do is throw down a military base here, I think. And a missile turret would probably be smart, because we could be at war with them soon. It's lower accurate at every point. Good, yeah, there you go. You're going to see my economy tank, though, as soon as I get a couple of these guys out. They're very pricey. Listening. All right. Let's get some more skirmishers, and um, we can throw in a wild assassin. We're going. Oh, they're so cool. Look at these guys. Yeah, they're rad. We can get some upgrades from the armory, too, so I'm going to do that. Um, we're going to get them the tempered swords. Makes them more expensive, but it's a big power increase. And now uh, let's assign agents to Landsrad so we can get some influence. And um, yeah, Ekaz is expanding. Their army is definitely weaker than mine. I mean, that Squire has 13 power. The Fidekin are rocking like Lake 26. All right, let's grab that box. What's in the box? Let's get another one of you guys and should be good. Upgrades, army logistics is done. Let's get the recruitment initiative. And, oh yeah, we probably want to get that plus the shared transcendence. That will give us money for each ceremonial cave we have, which is actually quite a few at the moment. Barracks would be nice, but we need more plastic. Man, we are rich as hell right now. All right, let's buy some let's buy some shares to have our money not sitting around doing nothing. All right, so let's get you. And then down here, probably going to want a missile turret, I'm thinking. Yeah, ECAS is really pushing up here. They're getting real aggressive with my lands. You know, Arrakis it belongs to the Fremen after all. We're going to have to... Oh, Hadri's creeping on my northern border as well. Um, he... Hmm, this is tricky. I'm very... I'm spread very thin. Hadri's looks like he might come after me. Ay, ay, ay. I wanted to go after Ekaz because they seemed a little bit weaker, but in this case, um, we might have to fight the Atreides on our northern border. He's getting real close. What I should do is attack Hadri's and force him to uh, make a non-aggression pact with me, and then, and then we can um, then we can go after the Ekaz. All right. So we need to max out our harvesters. Let's do that. So the spice will flow. Oh, man, yeah, he's right up on my border with a big army. I don't like it. So is Ekaz too, though. It sucks. This is definitely rough. Um, we might need to get a big army just to defend on multiple fronts. Yeah, I'm just by myself this stream, yeah. I wanted to do do that so I could talk more strategy with you guys. Hadri's can probably... Oh, we have a non-aggression pact right now. Okay, so we're actually okay with Hadri's. Okay, I... Yeah, he's not going to want to break that. Okay, let's come down here. Yeah. So Hadri's and I are probably homies right now. I mean... 
For his benefit, obviously. We could build a missile turret here, but yeah, I think we're okay. So next I need to save up for that water building. New chome shares were made available to buy. Let's buy some chome shares. Currently we're doing pretty good on chome actually. We're at 8%, it's respectable. Uh, lands are outstanding. We'll take the Solari upkeep. All factions get Solari upkeep, yes. We want to decline the hell out of that because that makes it more expensive to have a big military. All right, so gather up team, let's go. Yeah, Fidekin are good even when outnumbered. Yes, they have a unique trait where when they're outnumbered, they do more damage and, or they, yeah, they get more armor and a couple other stats. All right, what other cool abilities can we do? Start a rebellion in a village. Oh, that's pretty cool. It is somewhat, exp I'm kind of rich though. Is it really even that expensive? Yeah, the Fremen can start rebellions. It's so cool. All right, so we got that. Shared transcendence is coming up. All right, let's go, let's go. Ooh, we get to reveal a siege, finally. All right, let's start trading with them. Yes, so this siege will give us 200% of the power of military units when they die. Okay, that's cool. But I think it might only be in that region, but it still helps. Look, look, they know, they know it's a reckoning, dude. Oh, are they, are we allied right now? Oh, okay, we're gonna end that truce. <laughs> And they're probably going to be sweating bullets, I would imagine. Let's make some more Fidekin, because these ones may die. So, we're going to just go... We're just going to go liberating Arrakis right now, because that's that's how we roll. Uh, let's get a barracks here. So, the Fremen, every village you liberate, it, um, it basically gives you money. It's really nice. So, it looks like they're going to try and make their stand here, or they're going to run. Yeah, they're probably going to run. All right. So we're going to liberate this village, too. If he lets me keep liberating villages, he's going to fall very far behind. He's going to have to make a stand here. So I'm going to focus on liberating these two. And we're going to awaken the people on the other side. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cause a rebellion on his other base here. The dreaded Fremen tactics. And uh, cool. So then we need to get that building I was planning on doing here, which is the recycling plant. We don't have enough plascrete. Okay. Oh, he's actually fighting me. Okay. In the dreaded storm, nonetheless. But the Fidekin are, should be able to win. I can't really get to his range units because if I do that, the storm is going to kill me. So he's trying to focus fire this guy. Oh, the storm is screwing up my tactics. I can't really get close to him. Oh my god, the Fidekin are so beast mode. You just need to stay here. Oh, they're just cutting apart all these range units, dude. Are we getting attacked somewhere else? Okay, it's just rebellions. We're fine. Adri's chilling in the north. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give him some problems. I'm telling you, Fremen early military is just so scary. I'm gonna save my worm charges and run these guys down here because there's no real big sense of urgency. But this is gonna really, really get him off my borders. Plus, Fremen get bonuses for each neutral territory near them. So, um, with the uh, with the Freedom Fighters, you get Solari per neutral. Oh, he's got assassins moving in. Okay, the warrior. Oh, that we took him down. He tried to assassinate me. Okay, so let's get this agent and let's go in counterintelligence. I feel like okay, we liberated that village, which is good. And we're just gonna keep farming the Ekaz. We even started this rebellion on the other side, which is uh, hurting their spice. Well, it's still early, too, for ECAS. I don't think they were expecting an attack. All right, so let's go down here and build this recycling plant. We trust you, it's Fremen military are pretty terrifying. Listening. They are very scary. Um, all right, do that. Oh, we're low in water, so probably need to find a way to get some water. We have only two here, but we can just get a water collector for 50. Better than nothing, I suppose. All right, so we liberated two villages. We're going to go heal up and then rinse and repeat. We're currently up in hegemony, but not by much. Hadris is very close to us. Hopefully the Emperor will fight Hadris. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. All right, so the boys are healing up. 
We have a lot of authority, so we probably want to take some places too. So what territories could we take? We could work our way to the middle and get some of those. So I feel like we have enough of a military advantage that I can send a couple of Fideikin elsewhere. Yeah, I need to start taking territories. So we'll take this. It's a spice field. That makes sense. And then we'll take this once the uh, Just Freed cooldown goes down. Uh, not rich enough to buy any stocks at the moment. Let's head down this way. And we can get the um, mobile turret just in case he gets air. And did our space field finish yet? No, it hasn't. Okay, the recycling plant. I'm coming for it, Precious. Ekaz is very behind military-wise. What the hell was that? Did I just didn't I just use the supply drop thing? I think I did. Okay. All right. I know. I need more water. Tell me about it. I'm gonna get it here soon, hopefully. All right. So we're gonna take that and um, water. And how are we looking here? We got some water there. Water here. And then here we can get some also if need be. Okay, there's some sort of funny funny business going down here. How are we doing on authority or hegemony? We're pretty good. Again, if we could just cripple the ECAS, then we basically only have to fight off a 2v1 to try and win the game. How would you rank? Uh, who's the strongest? Who's the weakest? I don't know. That's a tough question. It's a very tough question. Um, now that we're not fighting here, we can delete the military base. And we can just grab some more water, honestly. Yeah, because we're going to need it. Water is, you know, buildings require it. Landsrad, Speaker of the Council. Uh, let's decline that. We don't want that. Oh, we also don't want... He's probably going to vote our military power down. Shit. Okay, we can let the Speaker of the Council ride. And then you need to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, here we go. He's coming to fight me. He might be able to get me here. We'll see. Okay, let's get you back here on the range units. Have you guys hold position. Okay, now that we're on top of the range units, he shouldn't be able to do too much against us, so we need to like manually click those. Yeah, see how we got all his range units in melee? It's, it's pretty brutal. Definitely needs more of a front line. He's just too much ranged. Which against players, against AI it works, but against players it, it can be dicey. Oh, those Fideikin just hunting him down, dude. Go supply drop here so we don't lose these guys and then call in another supply drop. Alright. So we forced him back. Let's get some more Fidakin in the base. Alright, so let's see what this base looks like. Yeah, we don't need a spice harvester, obviously. We're gonna get um get a harvesting team to come down here. This one per statecraft building and per military building. Okay. Um, how's the water production here? It's okay. Plascrete is actually still kind of crappy for us. New chome shares made available to buy, so let's buy some chome shares. How's Carino's looking like they're going for um, a financial victory? <laughs> Danny, you know. Yeah, you should join us. Come play. Need to max out my harvesters, too. I haven't done that yet on all of them. I think a couple are, but... All righty. So Ekaz is definitely not having a good time. Um, come down here, down here, and down here. We could keep pushing and liberating, which honestly is going to get harder. But the cool part about Fremen is we can ride the Dreadworm and uh, we can pop around. So that looks good after this. Hmm. What other text do we want to get? Chome support is nice. Per allied siege, which we're still a ways off. Get the command post here. This will give all our military units two power. Oh, Carino starts with 10% chum. I didn't know that. Okay, so that makes more sense. Shai Halud, uh, we should get the the E Day. Uh, the E Day, yes. It, it basically makes it so when you pop out of the worm, your army does more damage. It's pretty epic. Um, siege detected. And is there another siege here? There is. So we're going to start partying with those bad boys. We're going to go start taking these neutral territories in the middle with the boys. 
just started expanding towards um, towards the uh, the middle of the map. Yeah, our water supply is back online. And uh, what other buildings do we want to put per military buildings? We can get a, a military base down there in case we get attacked. It wouldn't be bad. Yeah, we can grab that field there. This one that we freed from him should be available in two days. Listen. Ah, shit. Didn't click that one super quick. Yeah, this game's really fun though. It's it's a great it's a great time if you got some pals to play with. All right, let's get you here. Get that spice harvesting going. So we are just the dark wizards of spice right now. That's basically paying for our entire economy. Gear sabotage. Take that. So we're getting a couple new territories. We're looking pretty good in the hegemony game. The Emperor's nearby. I think we just keep kind of taking on ECAS. Looking for legendary sites. Oh, here's here's one we need. It's 237. Um, let's actually just pillage this and then go over there and take that legendary site. Because then that's just so much more useful for our for our purposes. Do the ECAS even own it? They don't. Okay, so we can just run up there and grab that, hopefully. This gives us uh, economy production, so let's go ahead and get the Solari building. Get some militia in there, cool. Listening. What does this one do? Plastery factory? Nah, it's not like super useful, but it is what it is. Microsoft finally bought Blizzard. Yeah, hopefully we get a, a new StarCraft game, like a good one. That'd be really cool. Yeah, we our Intel production kind of sucks. Um, do we need the military base down here? Yeah. All right, so we're going to take that bad boy. Construction completed, and it looks like we can build more now. So spice exchange rate buff, hell yeah. Sign me up for that. Yeah, the deep desert, getting it enclosed would be good. It's only two territories too, so we will. It's it's on our plan, because yeah, Fremen get bonuses for surrounding the deep desert, so. Um... Let's go ahead and get the intel building. Alright, so we got this bad boy on lock. And from here, we're going to get a craft workshop you, for hegemony. And the siege is friendly, so we're going to form the alliance. And that gives us a uh, unique Fremen industry. It's really nice. So we'll come back to that. And it looks like we should get a second siege allied with us soon. Okay, economy buildings. How's the water here? It's okay. We could use a little bit more plascrete. Just a little bit more. We trust you, Liet. 201 to get that. I don't see any Atreides masking my borders. And uh, we forgot to do the airfield thing. So I will pay uh, 30 plascrete. And that will give us access to the flying units. Hi, the council. Man, I don't want either of these guys to be out of the council, dude. Hmm. I actually have some votes now. As you get into the mid game with Fremen, you, you get a little bit more in the voting game. I don't know if they're going to make it down there if they make a run for it. So let's just take this spice field. And uh, you guys can head up and take... Uh, yeah, this one we did pillage it, so it's going to take a while before we can get that back. Definitely want water here. All right, so we're going to start working on that. Let's get some water here. Listening. Construction complete at the data center. Looking all right. Our knowledge is respectable. Not amazing, but it's good enough. Should have enough uh, authority for that one soon. We're pretty well up. We have a 3,000 value lead on the next player in terms of authority. Just have to worry about Atreides' betrayal, basically, which is something I didn't think I'd be saying, but... It's, uh, it's definitely a thing. Hostile units. Oh, it's an Ekaz assassin. Oh, he's going after my Fidekin. <laughs> it's fine. I can rebuild them. But yeah, that's a that's a clever play there. All right, let's get some mobile turrets as well. Get a missile. A military base here is going to be huge. Yeah, the Fremen. Well, you know, they got they got some spice. Yeah, Eka Carino is getting pretty sauce. I I would wager Hadrian and Carino are going to fight. 
I would be surprised if they didn't. Okay, so we got that. And then um, manpower we still need. The dreaded Fremen Space Force will come soon. I don't know when, but it's in the books. It's being planned for. And uh, let's get another. In uh, having one infiltrator isn't bad. They do do a DPS increase on whatever they're hitting, so. Yeah, the armory could use a little milk, probably on my explosive guys, um, the skirmishers. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. Range attacks have a chance to destroy armor. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's, let's get that upgrade. Listening. Have launched an operation against me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Carino. Carino, what are you doing, buddy? You need to calm down. Let's got this, and we need to get the uh, the tech here. Carino's launching infiltration cells against me. They're going to try and assassinate me. Which makes me think I should just dive on Carino, but the problem is if I go after Carino, then Hadri's will just grow too strong. He'll just be too fat off the land. And farming ECAS is definitely good. It opens up a lot of territory down here for me. It, he just launched the first infiltration cell, though, so it's like an early one, you know? Alright, let's get the spice refinery. Atreides is going hard on shares, yeah. I'm going for hegemony, so I, I you know, Atreides isn't that hard. They're only at 11%. Carino's at 24. So technically, technically, Carino's done 24% on the shares, so they're like a little bit more sauced. Yeah, the Emperor wants my head, man. Not surprised to hear it. All right, so if we can just kill these guys, I don't know how possible that's going to be. Um, that would be pretty big. The Emperor, the Emperor, oh, he's actually closing in on me in Hegemony also. We trust you, Liet. It's getting a little scary. Let's buy some stocks. You can always sell them later in a pinch if you really need to. All right, let's start, let's start our liberating, our liberating tour here. Okay, what do we want to get for the last one? Yep, that's good. He's kind of camping out at his main base right now. I don't have the base defense. Oh, that's a leave order. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. Okay, let's turn around on you. Kill some of these range units. Uh, let's go ahead and liberate this. Oh, no, we just clicked pillage. That's the wrong one. Hard to click on that shit. Alright, so we're going to just start working on the main base of these guys. Uh, yeah. Why not? It's going to take a while, though. Anybody else attacking me? Hadri's gathering on my northern border is not good. So we probably got to peace out. Because if I'm here and I just get, you know, swarmed there, it's going to be basically GG. And, uh, alright. So yeah, obviously he's coming. He's going to attack. So I'm going to offer the ECAS a non-aggression pact now and see if they want to take it. We'll see. They, I think they would like that. I don't have anything to really do up here. Like, I just have to kind of, you know, he's got the big airship and everything, so. I need to get some mobile turrets to shoot at that. We trust you, Liet. Did he accept it? I'm not sure if he did. True ended. Atreides has ended it. It's fine. We're going to lose one territory so far. It looks like he's not bouncing too aggressively. We'll avoid the sun. Our is there like some airship there or something? Oh, there is. Okay. Hey, Mads, thanks for being a member for that long, man. Really appreciate it. Oh my god, the worms are just working against the Fremen. That's not how it's supposed to be. Uh, we could do a leave order. Let's go ahead and just do the, this. And, um... Did ECAS take the non-aggression? They did not. Can't be well used while in combat, huh? We're probably going to lose that territory. I don't know if we'll be able to get there in time. Regardless, we're going to run up there and see what we can do. 
Okay, let's uh, roll up to the main base. And uh, Water Sellers Union, we definitely don't want that. We're doing pretty good on hegemony, but there are threats to our, uh, our, our great Fremen people here. Okay, so we offered non-aggression. The base is pretty damn close to going. Don't think we're going to get there quick enough, but it's all good. We'll see what we can do. If I lose this fight, it's pretty bad. Alright, so we're going to place the Thumper down. I need to get my Siege upgrade too, by the way. I'm a little bit lazy about that. A Sandworm cannot breach in this area? For real? That's weird. Did he just take that? Oh, he took it. Okay, so I can just go take it back then. Alright, so we're going to move up here. Gather our forces. Um, how are we looking here? Let's get a missile turret and some militia. We got an assassination mission working against us, which is not good. Is in the of life. He may leave. I'm not sure. Ekaz is definitely not a contender right now, so that's good. Siege is friendly. So where's our other siege? I know we had one over here. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh. My army gets eaten here, I would feel so sad. Who actually used that? Huh. Okay, literally nothing happened. Thankfully, the Fremen were... They knew how to do the sand walk, and they could uh, get away from the worm. Alright. So, crisis averted there. That could have been an absolute disaster. That probably would have lost me the game. And, uh, yeah, we need to get our siege tech. Ekaz wants its territories back. I'm not surprised. So this is why we got to play the stock market a little bit. Um, yeah, let's get the worm upgrade here. Worms can't move past cliffs except this one, apparently. Yeah, so Ekaz is going to get this back. There's nothing I can do fighting on two fronts here. It's fine, though. We're hanging in there. Let's get some water. And we can get some water here. Okay, so is it, do you guys know if there's an easy way to find the siege? Yeah, they, I guess you just gotta like zoom out and look. So which ones would be best? Solari production, spice production, 30% spice production. Okay, but it's only neighboring. The thumper one is probably really good. The thumper factory, that's probably what we do. I don't know if we could actually take his army. I mean, we're pretty strong. We still have four spice fields. Ekaz is gonna kind of make its way back into the game in some ways, which is okay. They got their war banner and stuff. Um, down here we're all right. The deep desert is almost surrounded. Hostile units near my territory. He's just leaving one unit here, so if I wanted to be really troll, I could actually just run back. All right, what do we got here? And EMP bomb, mechanical units. Oh, okay, that's kind of interesting. Water is in the low. We're still up on hegemony, but you know now we're our lead is not so solidified now. It is not what it once was. Our craft workshops will give us good um, good stuff though. This region gives us three per state craft building, so let's get an intel center. We have plenty of the missile turrets, so the Air Force shouldn't be too big of a problem for us. Below your Solari counter, it goes to Siege. Thank you. Yeah, see, well, Siege detected, yeah, so. We're already trading with them, so we can make an alliance. Yeah, we need Plascrete, but we're trading Plascrete right now to get the ship parts. That's why it's so crappy. Is he taking on aggression with me? He doesn't have one. Okay. Uh oh, we're gonna miss a spice. We're gonna miss a spice tax. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna get there in time. Let's see. Ah, damn it! Wasn't paying attention. I look away for a second. I don't know if that, that it only hurts our authority production for Fremen, which isn't that big of a deal. But I would like to still keep it. Got a missile turret. No military base though, which is good. So. Um, let's see if we can get that paid, and get a military base here. Oh, it's going to be so close. 
We missed it. Curses. Oh, did I just get straight up passed on hegemony? Oh, it's because uh, I lost that southern uh, sacred site, yeah. All right, so let's move in. We need to get some territory back. ASAP, ladies and gentlemen. Did ECAS take that non-aggression pact? I don't know. We trust you, Liet. I just called in the dreaded worm. Uh, ceasefire. That's fine. We will happily hang tight and use the supply drops. Okay. So how long does that ceasefire last for? Is there a timer on that? Maybe there is. I'm afraid I'll get eaten by the worm if I try and leave, though. Make some infiltrators. We have the gear sabotage. Ecaz are not coming after us right now. The guild is not happy. And did he do a non-aggression pact with me? No, he didn't. Okay, so it's just the lead. it's just that ceasefire, which is going to be over in literally a day. We, trust you, Liet. we got the dreaded missile turrets in place. Okay. Probably should have had a scavenger team at the ready. His defenders are pretty strong here, actually. I don't know if this is going well for us. I feel like it's not. No, it's not. Definitely not. Holy shit. Yeah, we need to get our air force going. Flee the scene! Are we being attacked in the middle, too? Okay, it's just rebels. Okay, so we need to gather, like, a proper military to fight this. This is just scary, scary stuff. Carino, though, is is threatening to win. So maybe we just have to, like, not fight the Atreides for now. You keep hustling, buddy. He's going to go after this base. I don't have any, like, leave orders or anything ready for this. That's a... He's got a huge-ass army, though. That is a big, big army. Holy shit. All right. Doing governorship. Ooh. Hmm. Now, there's some political play here, because if we vote Atreides, it's going to force everyone to attack him. This is like a weird one, but it will force Carino to go all in on him. Oh, you guys ready for this? The big political Fremen play? That will probably be our downfall, but maybe not. We'll find out. Is we vote for Atreides here. Can we sell some stocks? Sell some stocks to fund our wartime economy. Um, we have an army coming back together. We need to get military propaganda. Oh, Gunhound, everything's going great. Absolutely. So, this will be pretty funny. And then we could make missile turrets. Gonna need to. He's gonna get he's gonna get these territories. We're being pushed back here. Which I don't know. Ah, that is a good one too, but I can rebuild it. It's just is he liberating it or is he taking it? He's taking it. Okay. So the Emperor is chilling. The Emperor is happy to see us fighting right now. Um, I might be able to take his army once I get a full roster. I was kind of beat up going in to fight him there. Plus he's got the Kraken. Um, we could build a Spire, but our altar is still a ways off. Okay, so military propaganda, we're going to need that. We got you guys. Ekaz is not attacking me down south. And um, let's get some, uh, probably some basic warriors would be good. And we have scavenger teams, leave order. Leave order would not be quick enough. I don't know if we can take this force. It's pretty big. Oh, he has mercenaries in his army? That's interesting. Yeah, I don't want to blunder another army and give him more progress, so we're just going to see how the politics play out here. All right, so now what do we want to do? Let's get the thumper production so we can be more mobile and more dynamic. Yeah, more explosive guys. Yeah, probably, probably so. I had a couple of them in my army before, but... Yeah, so now we have to play from behind a little bit. Ah, shit, we're being attacked in the bottom, too. So now we're in a water deficit, because uh, one of our territories was karate chopped there. Let's get some water here. I'm going to need some water down there, too. Ekaz is taking our territory, so 
That's the problem that I'm talking about with jumping out to the lead too early. People tend to swarm you. Fighting on two fronts is hard. Are we needed? Well, the turrets, I need them to take down the Air Force because, yeah, the Air Force is, is a problem. Lead us to freedom. So where, where did that most recent election go? I don't know where it went. Resource deficit, ECAS gonna take this. I would love to go down there and punish him, but if I do that, the Atreides are just gonna move into my base and I'm gonna pay the price. I feel like the Emperor player isn't doing anything. He's probably just, um, probably just turtling and trying to win on hegemony. Because, you, you know, I've been battling ECAS, but I don't think anybody's been fighting Hadries at all this game. I think he's just doing whatever he wants. Okay, waiting for the water to come back. Um, we can go send a couple of you guys to go capture some territory. So let's go down here, here, and here. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you guys for the tips. Appreciate it. Um, we'll have more supply here soon. Once this finishes, the military propaganda will be good. And water should be solved in a moment once we finish a couple of buildings here. Okay, so we've lost a lot of territory fighting on two fronts. Um, this character needs to run. Take you guys down to the south. And go... Do we fight Ekaz here? Yeah, the Emperor is going on the Ekaz territory, which is weird. I don't know why he's not going after Hadris. Hadris is eventually going to have to go after the Emperor. The politics here are getting crazy. Okay, do we have enough to pay the Spice and Guilds? Not quite. Alright, heading south. Carino could be buying up stocks. Oh yeah, they're at 27%. Well, we'll see if Hadrius recognizes that he's going to lose if he doesn't go after him. Um, so what I can do for now, I need this site back. This is a prime time site. Because he just left it, so I'm going to go retake that with those guys. And we're going to go grab this. I'm just going to kill the airfield as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will solve that problem. This, this is a really nice one, man. This was giving me a ton of money. Uh, is there an airfield here? There is. So let's go take that down. Let's grab this. Hadri is trying to do a non-aggression pact with me. Okay. I will give him the non-aggression pact after I take this base. Because otherwise I'm basically just out of the game. I, I am giving up too much territory. The Atreides garrison here is really good. Oh, these turrets weren't deployed. I was wondering why they weren't doing anything. Okay. All right. So let's make some warriors, some infiltrators. Ekaz is, yeah, we're we're paying for our our past uh, our past transgressions. Okay, that's uh, these turrets. Yeah, these turrets are just sucking bad here. All right, let's move down there, and. Um, yeah, we need to just get a better army comp. We, like you guys said, I think I have too many elite units. We you. He's back. I could still accept that. We'll stay safe. But he's going to lose to the Emperor if he doesn't go deal with that. So eventually I, I need to find a way to grab my territories back. Okay, so we got to look at basic upgrades in the armory for the warriors. Um, that gives them pistols. Can attack flying with a pistol. That's actually kind of helpful. And then... Sharpened blades, cool. That Atreides army is sauced. Speaker of the Council, um, 300 salary per village. I love that there's like a Harkonnen taint active right now. It's hilarious. All right. Let's get a nice solid army. The Ekaz are gonna just run out of steam here probably. We could take you guys down, go capture that territory real quick. You know, we have plenty of thumpers at the moment. More to come. No Carino's gonna get sauce though. I will non-aggress if I get that territory back. Yeah, I have to have to play some politics now. Because my hegemony just took an absolute nosedive. Alright, so we're gonna worm down there. Are we needed? And it looks like uh, the Atreides have left. So we need to use some of this damn authority that I built up. Alright, worms, let's go, baby. What do you need? And uh, we almost have the military tech we're looking for. Is there any spice fields down here we want to work? Not really. 
I need to get that back. Don't really care. It looks like Atreides and the Emperor are basically duking it out now, which is lore friendly, I suppose. Alright. How's this? Did we get some like other weird renegade army down here attacking us? Oh, we did. Alright, so let's keep it up. Yeah, need to have more diverse armies for sure. Ah, curses. How's Carino's the Speaker of the Council? Okay, so Atreides and Carino are going to fight now. Ekaz is probably not too much of a player in this game, although they might be able to take me now. I'm in a very weakened state. Very, very weakened state. Can we have, like, multiple on several spice fields here? I need to get this back and then get a non-aggression with Hadri's. That would be, like, the dream play. Okay, so that's done, and um, we're going to get this, which is going to give us some nice water. Okay, good job, boys. You did something right. We see the Emperor taking over bases. They're anti-air only when deployed. I think got it. Perfect, thank you. Learning the Fremen. I haven't played him too much, so. So we got the Thumper Factory. Research tech is good. Um, let's go ahead and get the... Yeah, we can get that. Oops. We only have three spice fields at the moment. Um, looks like we've started paying our our, our tax taxes again. So we're back in business there. And just throw a wild assassin in there for good times. Well, this territory I need I need. This is this one is really good. Um, after that, I'm gonna I'm gonna make peace with the Atreides if they're willing to have it at that point. But I need that base back. It puts me back in contention for hegemony and slows it slows down Atreides, which makes forces them to go after the Emperor at risk of uh, at risk of being in big danger, so. Okay. So we should get that big water going here in a second. Good. Our economy has sucked for quite some time. Our army now is like reasonably sized. I don't know if we could take that Atreides Death Star that he keeps bringing over, though. <laughs> Shit is savage, dude. I'm going to see if Ekaz wants... Uh, do I want non-aggression with Ekaz? I don't think so. I need this base back. And then I can bolster it, because there's like a desert protecting. And now we have the deep desert, um, which is cool. Okay, let's move up here. I don't know how quickly they're going to fly over, but we'll find out. Okay, let's deploy the turrets. Take this down. Supply drop and sabotage. Oh my god, these these militia that the Atreides have are so tanky. Someone's pausing. Alright, so I'm getting this base back. And that will... Now I'll, I will help Hadris after I get this back. The Emperor is cackling too hard. If he flies back and fights me, then that's going to be interesting. Somebody wants to trade with me. Uh, no. Do I want that with Ekaz? All right, so we're working on this one back. Oh, these stupid turrets are just so such awkward units. Why am I not? Oh my god, did he force me out of a non-aggression pact? Oh, how dare you! So what does this do? Zero vote penalty on Chomix Spice rate. So he will. Um... Yeah, the emperor is getting close. So he did a non-aggression. So we have to wait for that to end. Which is in eight days. Hmm, do I go like... Yeah, where do I go? Maybe I go get the polar ice caps then. I think that's probably the next best play. We'll, we'll be back for that later. So we'll go to the middle. Um, armory upgrades. Looks like most of the Du Bois are pretty well upgraded. Let's get them some light armor. Infiltrators are a weird unit. Mobile turrets. What upgrades do they have? 
Ooh, plus four. All right, so we'll surf to the middle and get the uh, the site there. And take it from them. Hmm. All right, boys. And we should have enough for our big mothership soon, too, by the way. Hopefully that will come in time. Uh, any buildings I want to build there? This is for statecraft buildings. Let's get intel. Doing good on water. Dune governorship is going to decline with whatever votes we have, which is actually a substantial amount. This isn't neutral territory. This is a neutral territory renegade base, which is trolling me. So I'm going to go dismantle that and then I'll push to mid. I don't know how we're like still in the red financially or still in the positive financially. I feel like we've been suffering pretty bad there. We got our deep desert. Renegade base will uh, give us some money when we take that down. Come on, clean them up. It's nice that the warriors get some pistols. Alright, uh, so yeah, we need to take over this village. Try and get back in the hegemony race, really. We're not that far behind. A couple like unique sites would definitely go the distance for us. I don't know if he's trying to take the emperor on. It could be. Supply drop. Okay, so we're going to clear that out. And Landsrad Council, so we're just going to decline the governorship so nobody gets it. Because that's going to put us in a very precarious position. Oh, I'm going to attack mid right now. That's the game plan. I just need to clear this Renegade base and get a foothold, and then I'll, uh, I'll push in. Because if we just take the middle, it'll immediately set him back. All right, um, down here. Do we have water here? We do not have water here. We do. Let's get the upkeep production. We only have three spice fields, so no point in really having that right now. Renegade base dismantled. Let's take this base. Uh, Yeah, we can do that. Buff our little siege alliances. All right, and for you, military units get 10% power. That's going to be nice for fighting against the uh, for fighting against the emperor right now. All right, we can finally get our big airship. It's about damn time. We've been we've been in the potato age for far too long. The, the altar of doom cometh. It's getting tight. Got to go mid. Once I cap this, I'm just going to rush mid and hopefully Atreides will do something. I don't know what they're doing. Cuz I see his armies to the south fighting Ekaz. All right, so this, uh, I believe, has a processing plant, which is actually kind of nice. Help us out with our economy a little bit. Okay, so I need to get out of this. Oh, that's right, I need to get out of the pact with him. I'm missing the resources, so I might just have to betray him. Ah, shit, because I just voted a bunch. Which, um, that would, that would not be fun. All right, so the non-aggression pact is 100. Yeah, we're just going to run there and then break it. We At this point, we're just going to have to bite the bullet and just do it. The wind is singing. Do you hear? So we're going to get close. Do the call in here. We trust you, and uh, hopefully we can get there. We yeah, this is going to suck, but we're going we're gonna to have to do it. All right. Oh, Screw your politics. <laughs> it's basically what the Fremen are saying. It's going to hurt our exchange rate, though, which sucks bad. Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, let's uh, annex that. And then we can take this army over to go help uh, Hadri's out. And you hold position here. Oh, it looks like Hadri's just absolutely steamrolled the Emperor's army there. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we might actually get him here. You see that? Hadrian's just like death starred that man. He could, probably could have done that earlier, even. Uh, the question is if we get it quick enough. Um, he's about to lose a lot of hegemony. But the question is, is it going to be fast enough? We don't have too much time. It's getting real tight here, guys. Been a good game so far. Been a good learning experience for Fremen. Uh, yeah, so this is... Oh, that's only for 17 days. It's not like a permanent penalty. All right, is there any funny other funny business we could do? 
We might stop him here. If Hadrius manages to hold that, then I think we're okay. These are ranged raiders, okay. If he if Hadrius gets this, then we're totally fine. My dreaded Fremen Air Force is on the way. 194 authority. We're going to stockpile this bad boy for a little bit. Unless, like, the spice turn-in happens right now, I think we're okay. Oh, Hadrius is losing his mothership, potentially. Hey, at least I'm going to have the middle, too. That's a nice one. Oh, look at my, my blimp. The altar, what does that do? Oh, it can get, like, custom upgrades? That's cool. All right, we need to go back and like get control of our bases now. Hadrius is now Hadrius is now going to be the Dark Lord of Hegemony. This is like getting really really tight. A temple made out of profane debris. Speed. Uh, nearby military units gain supply when out of combat. Okay, now we're out of. Oh, we just need to get the stupid water extractor thing. Doesn't work for us. The desert will surprise you. Yeah, God, buggy pathing. Ugh. Stay in that territory. All right. Yep. Let's just get the water. Lead us to freedom. This path is dry. Oh boy, this is this game's getting real tense. It's getting real tense. All right. So the blimp, I think we can give it. Uh, let's give it power, and then let's give it. Um, I like the idea of speed. It's going to be able to like get around the battlefield a little more efficiently. Wow, guys, this game's getting real, real tight. Like everybody is in a position to. Bad Ecas, bad God, look at this shit. <laughs> he's back, baby, and he's pissed. All right, so water. What does the water deficit do? No supplier generation. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Shahilud, the Shahilud Express is on the way. Now I think we let the Emperor and, and Hadri's fight. Oh, one of uh, one of the guys didn't make it. You're gonna stabilize. I can't afford to lose any more territories. And Judge of the Council. Um, yeah, let's do loss of all rights. So just nuke everybody. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're back in the green, water-wise. Um, yeah, we have the polar cap, which is cool. I mean, it gives me a little bit of hegemony. Listening post there is actually pretty good. Ikaz never heard the bell, dude. They, they have heard no bells this game whatsoever. Where am I not getting high water? I need to like make sure all my water regions are optimized here. Yeah, it kind of looks like I'm getting it in most bases. Enemy agent captured, lovely. At least we know, you know, stuff's working to an extent. Siege incentives helps us with the base. Wind traps giving us knowledge isn't bad. Um, Wonders of the desert, that's a good one for us. Oh God. Hadri's, Hadri's must be stopped. Um, I don't even know which one's the best one here. Let's try the MP bomb out. He's got a big air force, so it's a huge army. We might be able to fight it now, though. But if he gets the middle, then um, it's going to put him really close to victory. Like, very, very razor close. Okay, he's got he's got these, like, airships. But I do have my little dinky ships, too. It's going to take a while for him to annex that. I don't know if I can win that fight, though, to be honest. I really don't. This will be a first time here. We're gonna we're gonna be trying it out. He might he might just be too ahead military wise. He wants to move over here. It's fine. Is the emperor coming? <laughs> For the emperor. All right, so we knocked down his planes. Looks like he lost one instantly. Good. 
Deer sabotage. Let's do this. Come on, Fremen! Fight! Alright, it's 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 honestly our militaries aren't as far apart now. You can see he's losing his airships. We both are both basically just hemorrhaging armies. Just make more units here. Oh, he's losing a ton of his airships, jeez. If it Aiken being Chad's as usual, let's kill his last airplane and that will equalize the next fight. Man, our blimp is the Punisher. If I can get some reinforcements over here before before ECAS strikes, that would be big. Let's kill the last of these units if we can. Because we'll get worm support here in uh, in a second. Let's keep popping these guys. If we can actually kill all the guys trying to cap, that would um, get rid of the cap. So we're going to do that. That wasn't bad. Yeah, I, I forgot to deploy the turrets a little bit, but that's okay. We probably get back at this point and get some uh, troopers in. We don't want to lose our big ship. Oh, it's faster than his because I have sails. <laughs> yes, good, Anakin, good. All right, let's get you guys mixed in. The dreaded blimp of doom. Go, my worm! A temple made out of profane debris. Not bad. Hadri's and the Emperor are both very close to winning, dude. Holy shit, yeah. This is this game's getting wild. If we could get that decap though, that's gonna be pretty fat. I don't think we're going to, he's got troops down here. Alright, he's got air support. We might lose our big blimp, although the Fidekin are being pretty beast mode here. I think he's got the middle. Oh man, this is getting really tight. I need to get a critical mass again. So I say we just ignore the middle, let them fight over it. It might just be GG right now though. It might just be GG. Alright, we need to start selling spice again. Hopefully our blimp can get away. Come on blimp. Get to the siege. Um, warriors, yes. Nope, looks like he brought it down. Well played. Oh man, Hadri's is so close. Carino and him need to duke it out though. What we do is we go for like a haggard backstab. That's that's our basically our only play. The uh, Atreides super unit has a lot of uh, a lot of durability. Oh yeah, it sure seems that way. So we're at 23k. Ekaz basically got crippled pretty hard earlier. Okay, let's move up north. And. Uh, yeah, we can just ignore the Lady Jessica stuff. We should have just done that earlier. It's like, I don't know why we were putting too much, so much respect on the Lady Jessica. We could have just broken it. It didn't really affect us too much when we did that before. Oh, uh, how much time do we have? Man, this is tight. This is really tense. Him and the Emperor and then Ekaz is doing something. I don't know what. Trying to recover, probably. Um, all right, so let's do defense sabotage, uh, awaken the people. No, oh, no, not a storm. This is like the worst time for a storm, dude. And uh, we can just you guys to so save up on upkeep here. Speaker of the council. Um, how about nobody? We'll do that. It's fine. Oh, the sandstorm sucks. It's like, I don't know if I can run through that without dying. The next AoE stream in the next few days, I kind of hurt my hand a little bit, so that's why I've been taking a break from the old Age of Empires. Screw the storm, dude! This path is dry. Okay, let's get up here. It's pretty durable here, even as a military base, but I think we should be alright. Ah, shit. Gonna lose the plane. Okay. Gonna try and stop it. We're gonna awaken the people. We're gonna do a little rebellion over there. Hopefully we can beat the militia. They're pretty jacked. Our plane did survive. Um, Hadri's might come over here, but that would open up an opportunity for the Emperor to slow him down. 
Oh my god, they're so jacked. That military base makes them so good. I need some elite units there. He does the ceasefire. It's fine. So we just pull back and go for another base. We're going to have to worm our way to another one. All right, so going this way, and um, we did the rebellion. I don't know what that's actually going to do, but hopefully something. Let's gather up here. The desert power is trying. All right, let's get you guys. And then let's worm our way um, over there. Yeah. All right, we're going behind enemy lines, baby. We had our moment of being powerful, but then we... Yeah, that's the... I don't like jumping off to an early lead like that. It really feels like you get swarmed by too many people when you do that. Did the road... Did the worm hit a roadblock? No, okay. Alright, so let's try and take this base. Just clear out the rebels real quick that we started. Sorry, rebels. We didn't mean it. It was just a joke. Oh, he's so close to winning, though. He's probably going to win right now with the spice trade... Or the spice turn-in. That gives you hegemony, so... Yeah, we don't care about Lady Jessica now. <laughs> it's all hands on deck now, baby. Alright, so we're trying. Uh, I think the Fidekin should win this fight. We can just deny their non-aggression packs non-stop. Fremen don't really care about it as much. I should have done that earlier. It was stupid that I, I just let that happen. Alright, Lazy Micro, it's all good. The militia here. Wow, 1200 HP. Oh, so Hadris has the siege buff that makes his militia super tanky. That's really strong. All right. So he's coming here. The, the only chance is basically that someone else is... There's no sense in us fighting this right now. Eh, I guess we can't get away anyways. That's really good. So he has the siege buff where all of his troops, all of his defensive uh, civilian troopers are just super tanky. Um, Karina's going to have to make a power play right now. Nope, doesn't look like it. GG, well played. Atreides wins. Good game. That was a good match. That was a good match. We're going to go evil Harkonnens next time. What are the civilizations you're looking most forward to in the DLC? Are you talking about this game or a different game? Or an Age Vampires? The Emperor. GG, well played. Great stuff. All right. Uh, can we view the summary? I want to see what everybody was doing really well. Oh, man, Carino at 26% stocks. That's pretty serious. Yeah, jumping off to an early lead, like, and bullying the ECAS, I don't know if that was a good idea. Maybe we should have just expanded more, because it made us... Like, we had... We had Hadri's attacking us on one side and ECAS on the other. It just felt like we spread ourselves too thin, and we weren't able to defend everything. So the hegemony victory can be a little bit dicey like that, can it? GG, well played. All right, so let's exit. And I'm going to make another lobby. Feel free to join. Um, all right. So let's create lobby. Uh, turn game. Battle for Arrakis. Round two, baby, let's go. Thank you guys for joining today. Lore friendly win, I know. There's a new one up now, so anybody's welcome to join. Okay, perfect. Preferably, uh, yeah, Hadrius, hey, feel free to rejoin. We we're going to play together. To, but if, if we, the next two people to join, folks who didn't play earlier. Dave Ock, thanks for becoming a channel member. GG. We got Ducky and Tron. Uh, we're going to go with our beloved Harkonnens. Because I think it just doesn't feel right to not be oppressing, you know? It's, it's, it's how I roll in this game. So for Harkonnens... You get Glosu Raven. He makes your militia better. He gives you one slot. And also, every time you kill a rebel, you make money. So you're forcing rebellions. Yeah, Davok, you still owe... <laughs> yeah, you didn't notice the assassination attempt the other night. We're going to probably play three games today, too, by the way. So there will be another one after this, most likely. Um, but yeah, pick your armies, guys. And then we're going to go Fade Rautha. Uh, he's great. Whenever you're oppressing a village, you get influence and you get agent um, recruitment speed. All right, I'm going to go grab a drink while these players get ready, and uh, we'll go from there.
All right, guys. It's a pressing time. Help, help. So we just need Ducky to finish. All right, Ducky, you go for it. We got Tron and the Atreides, the Harkonnen, myself, Carino's going to be Hadri's. And uh, it's go time, man. It's go time. I feel like Fremen might be good at... Like, I almost never... It seems really hard to win through pure military domination nowadays. And I feel like that's what Fremen are good at. Oh, we got smugglers. All right, let's go. Ready it on up. Ready it on up. So I'll show you. Harkonnen's the one I feel most comfortable with. I know I most, most, no, mostly know their tricks. Uh, ready up. And yeah, we'll be back to Total War and Age of Empires in the next few days. Just uh, was resting the old hand. And this game is very easy going, so. Man, yeah, the movies look the trailer for the for the second one looks really good. All right. Wait, what? Why are people on teams? Uh, Atreides. Atreides, uh, pick a diff team. He's on a team. Yeah. So team number. Tron was Tron was trying to secret ally with the Harkonnen. <laughs> no, no problem. Uh, I can do it. It's fine. So we'll go to team number two. Okay, he's on team number two now, and then I will go to team number one. Now you can ready up. Okay. Yeah, Age of Wonders 4, when um, the expansion comes out, Pone and I were planning on doing some streams. You're putting all your Landsrad votes on Ducky. Is he really good at this game or something? Do we have some, uh, do we have some Tyrant here? Davok, I thought you would have faith in me, dude. We'll do maybe a team game later. That'd be fun. We'll do another one. All right, so time for the big Chungus to descend. The the Space Toad. The Baron Harkonnen. Baron Vladimir. He's, he's here. So we're going to rush the martial economy, oppress our people, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's just Baron things. I mean, it's great. The last time the, I've had the most success with Harkonnens, I think their military is crazy strong. I find you're able to really run people over pretty hard with them if you get going. Their warship's cool too. It's like a Starcraft carrier. I really like the Fremen um, big ship though. The fact that it's like faster is like really nice and does more damage. Man, the fa I was wondering why it was so hard to take Hadri's bases last game, but he had that siege upgrade, so his militia were like double HP. I was like, God damn. I just couldn't like get through them, dude. They were just like linebackers. Copy that. Copy that. All right. So where are we on the west side of the map? I guess it doesn't really matter too much. We'll figure it out. To the slaughter. To the slaughter. Let's go triple military so we can do some pillaging. All right. So we are having fun here. We see a crashed ornithopter, and now we can just have this thing manually scout, and we'll go recover that ornithopter soon. Looks like that guy back there was being allowed to shoot. <laughs> the Baron is basically a slan. Yeah, he's like a slan from Total War. He's this big gelatinous beast. No, they nailed the flavor for the factions in this game for sure. God, it always feels like it takes forever to get this first one. What's cool about like Harkonnen too, if you don't want to, you don't really have to play Spice like you can, but you can make money other ways. There's like a lot of other avenues for um, financial success. So I always rush Martial Economy. It's really good. It's very, very good. All right, let's get you going and get a militia in there. That will give us another gyro. And um, looks like we have another crash ornithopter over here as well. All right, let's go see if we can find, what we want to find is the one that gives us money. The one that has the uh, rare minerals. For me, that's always like the most valuable for the old Harkonnens. Because if you can oppress those areas, you just make a ton of money. It's pretty pretty bonkers. Our lives belong to you. Come on, we need to find some of the financial sites. Resolve, and let's have you auto recon. All right, so we have fuel cells, and we have this one. Data center isn't that good for us. It's okay. Here we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Ask and the big space toad delivers. Okay, let's move back this way. Harkonnen villages are also very tough to take down. They have, um, because Glossy Raven gives you the uh, additional slots, which is nice. 
Definitely not going to go openly for a hegemony victory again. I feel like rushing hegemony is kind of stupid. Um, people just swarm you. And then you get set so far behind that the, the person following you, like just behind you, usually wins. It's kind of like the same principle as like commander. Um, all right, so we got the uh, work ethics. Cool. You know, we can do this and then this and then go to that. That probably is smarter. All right. We can do normal oppression at first. And what does this have? So agent recruitment speed, that's actually pretty nice. Last greet. Going to be next up on our list of things to do. Got to grab all these, reveal a siege. Okay, that's not bad. The siege buffs are very strong. Dude, I hope we get a new Warcraft and a new Starcraft game before I'm too old <laughs> to be competitive at them, you know? that That's the dream. All right, so we got a fully stocked village because Harkonnen villages are more efficient based on how many uh, militia you have in them, so you definitely want to make sure you have those goodies. All right, so that's a market. So let's get a processing plant here. This will be one of our financial villages. Our planes are exploring everything, slowly but surely. Water's going to become an issue soon. We can Villages that we don't plan on like going for, we can basically just use the pillaging on them. All right, so we got our Age on Arrakis. Oh, Age of Empires was a pretty big RTS game that was made. You know, Microsoft invested a lot of money in that, from what I understand. So, I think it's possible we get another big RTS game. I definitely do. Listening. Listening. Let's get a heavy militia in there. Local dialects will make it cheaper. We want to get agents rolling, and then we can start working towards the martial economy to get our oppression buildings. So far, we're still okay financially. All right. So next up here, um, we can go ahead and get knowledge or we could do the market. Research hub isn't bad. Our lives belong to you. Probably should have just revealed the siege with that one. All right, well, we got four ornies now, ornithopters now, so we should be able to discover our, uh, our territory as well. We see a spice field down here. So I think we just raid this one and just get a little uh, pillage going. Need to get more uh, militia there, so it equalizes. Plascrete. Oh, yeah, 20% more from economy buildings. That's a great one right there. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's the... Uh, which is the one that... What is the tech? Is it instill fear? Yeah. I'm so using, used to the Emperor's Authority tax. Oh yeah, he's he's, not, he's expanding super quickly. What is that tech called, Deavok? I always forget off the top of my head. It's instill fear, right? <laughs> yes, give me the money. Give it to me, and then we'll go take that spice field. It's gonna be pretty good. Although we could take this site. What does this one give us? Data center, so it's gonna give us intel, which is useful to a point. All right, so advanced engineering, martial economy, and then we can go for the, um, yeah, minus 50% authority cost to annex a village owned by them in the past. Is it Arrakis Butchers? I can't remember which one it is. And still fear, yeah. It seems like it helps a little bit. Martial economy is my favorite tech, though. That's the good stuff right there. All right, so we're going to need some plascrete here, and we need to start getting manpower ASAP. Problem is manpower buildings are turbo expensive. We live to serve. Okay, so we see a spice field. Um, you know, might as well. Oh, hold on. No, nope. abandoned Imperial Station. We're gonna go big Harkonnen uh, Solari this game. Maybe try and win with the Chome, or you know, either through politics too is always pretty good for Harkonnens. Yeah, righty. So let's do this, and then um, we're gonna be running into water issues soon. But let's get the Solari production building. Let's go get this. And then we just started pressing the hell out of those. But yeah, this is a, these regions are good. The ones with the abandoned Imperial stations. Uh, economy developments, I do like that. That's good. We'll support that. And I'll take a look at the other ones in a second. All right, soldier, get in there. Take out the range unit first and um, all factions. This is actually good for us because the lands are at guard. We can use them to go raid. So that should be good. 
I don't think instill fear completely negates the penalty. Minus 50, it's only 10% authority cost to annex those villages. I don't think it completely negates it like you think it does. Little dreaded RTS scooting and shooting here. We need to kill this guy though, quick. All right, so next up we just save that for the oppression building. Get a militia in there. Take this over and we should be good. All right, so we almost have martial economy. This one's so good. It gives you the uh, village of the uh, the one that just lets you oppress all your villages nonstop. It's very strong. Uh, pillaging a siege gives you authority. I definitely want to get like the spying logistics going all the way. Harkonnen, Harkonnens have really good intel play. All right, so what do we want to do here? We want the research out. That's right. All right, you guys cure up. And uh, we see spice fields and spice fields. We can kind of beeline for those because we just want to have a turbo power Arconan um, economy at some point or other. All right, so we need to fix that. Start in the militia. Go here, go here. And is there anything else? There is some here. All right, perfect. Oh no, that's right. We need to get the, the damn wind traps after this, the filtration systems. Yeah, I always forget that. I always get a little excited and forget about water. All right, you guys go do a little bit of raiding down here. Skulls for the Skull Throne. Yeah, basically, the Harkonnens are somewhat cornate. Although Harkonnens are like supposed to be cunning. They're not like brute, like pure brutes. I mean, there are some characters within their hierarchy that are brutish, but in general, they they scheme a lot too. Take the intel and take the spice. Saving up an old spot here. We could build at our main base, probably should soon. But once we get the um, the oppression buildings, that's when we can go pretty bananas. All right. Let's grab this. Would love some Plascrete. All right, let's pillage that. And um, the next one we want to grab is going to be probably... I don't see any more like really, ooh, what is this one? Um, ooh, yeah, we gotta go for the space wreck. That's like, that's one of the best ones. It gives you extra um, Air Force stuff, which is just crazy strong. All right, so let's go pillage this also, get that money. Who would have thought the Landsraad would be such pals helping me have just, you know, cause all this havoc here. All right, so the Office of the Order is money. That's the one that constantly oppresses our um, yeah, constantly doing the oppression stuff. Karate chop them. And then we can get Plascrete here and then we can get the oppression office. It, it's so it's so good when that gets going. And then they can hit this one too. Just Harkonnen stuff, man. And then we need to get this last slot. Um, once those buildings turn on, man, it's just it's just butter. It's so good. So why do we have that? Agent crude speed. Yeah, we can cut this for now, and then we can slap down the Office of the Order. Execute Order 66. So we do need to get wind traps too. So let's find a region that has really good wind. Ah, we just pillaged it. Okay. Maybe, maybe a different one. Perhaps this one up here. It has three. Could grab this one real quick. How much is the, the, the big field? It's 98. Okay. Let you guys bank up supplies, head over here, and take this one. I messaged Pwn, I don't think he's around today. I think he's uh, I think he's out and about, you know? Having some sort of something called a social life. I don't know what that is, but sounds, sounds weird. All right, so we take that village. You guys got your supplies back, and then you can go raid this one. Harkonnen's doing evil stuff, having a good time. Yeah, these, these extra agents have been really, really nice. What the hell? That worm, like, it's, it just literally came into the city. They're evolving, dude. The sandworms are evolving. Oh, my God. I think you'd be able to reach me there. thought I was safe. Okay, so the oppression is going down now, which is good. Um, that's going to get us just absolutely sauced financially. Um, we see a trade east to the south. We're gonna get this site. The sandworms, like I said, they're learning, dude. The beasts, the beasts of the deep sand are, uh, they're, they're evolving. All right, so we need to get a, um, I shouldn't have spent that plastic right there, that was stupid. 
We'll get a maintenance center here though. That'll Thank that'll cheapen this. All right, so one of each type here. So we'll get water. What do you need? Dude, it, did it get my other guy? The sandworm is cheating, dude. This one. Well, no, dude. I was on the rock. Oh, that's some BS, dude. That that's that's probably like just some weird. Sh that's that's not right. It is funny though, admittedly. Shai Halu does. He cares not for boundaries. All right, so do you collect your here? We could make that, which would give us a little bit of money. Um, probably just going to do a maintenance center here. Listening. You guys see that? Yes, we're going to do Age of Wonders again once the update comes out, 100%. All right, so I need to get the research center here. Um, not the research center, but the, uh, yeah, my Plascre probably needs some manpower buildings right now. We're a little bit in the pits in that regard. We've gotten a lot of money from the raiding. Let's start playing the stock market a little bit. We have Hadri's over in the same side. Let's redeploy you. Politics. Uh, all factions suffer, suffer spice rate. No thanks. I don't feel like that. So we're making money off the rebellions. Sometimes I wish I could just buy the Plascrete, just just give it to me, precious. I mean, I, with AI you can usually do that, but um, here it's a bit of a different beast. We'll do some lands rad so we can vote a little bit better. We're about to lose these lands, Chad, so we're gonna have to buy some new troops, which could be a while since they all got eaten by Shai Halud. Manpower and um, Plascrete. Cool. And we can, these guys are going to disappear um, after this lands rad resolution anyways. So we're going to delete them so our manpower will start building up again. And thankfully our militia will um, will defend our lands. Okay, we have Atreides to the south, Carino to the east. Looking good. I don't know why my manpower is negative there for a second, but should be fine now. Coming online in a couple fronts. We need to get a main ba main base building. Uh, they do. Down the road. He sa he's saying asking if smugglers have access to the lands rad, but they do eventually. Alright, so that's good. And then um, let's go ahead and get spying logistics. That's really nice. And uh, lay of the land will also be good for the villages. Oh my god, dude. We just got eat. We just got eight, dude. Little rat thing just got eight there. So probably gonna get the recruitment center ASAP to try and get the uh, try and get the old manpower going. It's 500 uh, plascrete though, which feels like it takes forever to build up. But the the impression there, it's good. So Lucillary gain landsrad standing. I'll take the political mastermind guy. Yeah, it gives you five influence, five extra five percent more on that. Yeah, smugglers do get it eventually. They do. So one building of each type, so we probably want to get um, you, and then we can build a, uh, let's get some militia since we're going to start oppressing that. All right. Hey, darling, how's it going? The hot wife is in chat. Looks like the, uh... <laughs> don't be bad. <laughs> Tron's basically saying, hey, I'm going AFK, don't come kill me. But uh, should be all right. Should be all right. So Plascrete, Plascrete, Plascrete Manpower, Harkonnens. Listening. Looks like I'm getting hit here somewhere. Trades and the smugglers should be on the other side of uh, Arrakis. I need to save up manpower to get some military. Granted, oh yeah, I don't really need to expand. I'm not in like a huge hurry right now. All right, so Plascrete per economy building. So let's get some water going here, some wind traps, and then we can get the oppression building. You pretty much want to be oppressing everything with Harkonnens, like everything. Yeah, that's that's just... Are we ahead on hegemony? I don't want to be, but I guess we are. So now we gain intel from villages, and uh, that's cool. All right, I like that. So when we uh, raid villages, we get intel. Military developments are faster and statecraft is faster. Okay, so now we want to do this. Uh, oppressed villages grant plus one intel production. That's really good. Enhanced questioning because you're constantly oppressing them, so it's uh, it's quite nice. 
Are there ever rebellion going down? Why are we negative in manpower? Oh, the offices of the order are just really pricey. That's right. All right. Get a manpower building there. Hopefully that will solve that problem. And uh, then we need to find a way to get some water, which is coming here. Dude, we're just so rich. Should probably just be buying shares, honestly. It's probably not a bad idea. Just get the stock market going. Because if we can get the Chome board member, you get 15% uh, military power, which is crazy. So let's let's buy some stocks. Let's let's hit the stock market. Yeah, Hadri's won the first game through Hegemony. Yes, he did a really good job. Very clean execution of it all. All right, so we bought some stocks. Let's wait for the prices to go down. Because when you buy, see the prices go down, up. So you need to wait and buy low and, you know, potentially sell high. Okay, so yep, villagers are rebelling, which is good. Really wish my guys didn't get eaten, but it is what it is. We're going to be in a manpower deficit here in a second. Yeah, because we're going to need more manpower. The center here does that. Got to save up Plascrete for that. We should be safe there when that gets back online, though. <laughs> Baron Bezos. <laughs> yeah, we're Baron Bezos here, yes. Lay of the land is helpful. Let's do some, like, yeah, village and investment building is cool. We don't really plan to go after sieges or anything. Um, fuel cell factories to give money. I do like playing, like, Harkonnen politics. It is very fun. All right, so how are we looking here? Now we can get this. Let's get the manpower. Yes, we need that bad because we're just suffering. Those recruitment offices take a shit ton of manpower, but... It also makes my economy super, super jacked. Um, all right. Do I want to apply corruption? No. I think I'm... Oh. The elected faction. Okay. So we'll apply corruption. So whoever wins this is going to get the Harkonnen corruption. <laughs> if they vote for me, it's fine. I, I guess, you know, I deserve it at that point. Okay, we really need to get manpower because we just like have no military. I need to be like pillaging and I guess I could just cut one of those uh, oppression offices. I don't know which one, probably this one. Is it upkeep of six? Yeah, we need to cut that. It's just it's just tanking us too hard. All right, so that one's been oppressed four times over. Oh man, okay, that actually might screw it up now though. So eventually we're gonna wanna do that, but we do need some troops. So can we get these guys? No, at 10k hegemony we get them. Troopers will be available at 40 supply. The fact that those damn worms ate my troops in the beginning is so unfortunate, man. I got owned so hard there. Okay, let's get some space parts. And, um... I don't need money. Um, military... Per cast supporting this... Oh, this is nice. So the smugglers put a bounty on that, so... We're gonna vote on that to make some money. Make the big money. All right, hopefully we can get some troops again. And um, yeah, we need to start expanding. The Emperor's getting a little bit crazy over here. We do have fuel cell factories. We need to get those. And um, again, I don't really care about the spice too much. You guys will notice I'm pretty rich even without playing spice. We got a rebellion. Okay, the militia should deal with it. Come on, give me some troops. Okay, I can make the Cerberus, but they're way too squishy. Those things die super easily. And I could save up for another main base building. Hmm, that wouldn't be a bad idea. The recruitment center, already on it. It's being built right now. Um, aside from that, let's go ahead and go for a Solaria economy. So we're going to ignore the spice stuff and go for the Mason Guild next. And just kind of play Solaria rather than spice. Which Harkonnens do well because of oppression, I think. All right, little... Oh, someone's flyer just attacked. Militia popping out to defend. We got 10 more space parts, which is awesome. We definitely need to max out space and guild too. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Oh, we can finally get military again, dude. Stupid Shy Halud slowed us down so hard. All right, so let's get production in villages. Plascrete and... Yeah, let's get the Plascrete one. Servers are good. Yeah, they're good to mix in, but as like a core unit, you know, I think uh, I think it could be... Okay, we got the Space and Guild branch, which um, we wanted the Oppression building there. We'll probably build the Space and Guild branch back here once we're able to take that territory. 
Yeah, and hopefully we can get another trooper, and then that has only two. So we should be able to take it even with just one guy. Maybe we'll build a Cerberus. We'll see. Militia holding firm, which is good. Come on. Give it to me. Give me the manpower. Oh, God. The... This is why I don't, didn't worry about rebellions here, because the main base will, will cover you. Okay. Uh, lose intel. We don't really care about intel right now. And renowned merchant. All right. We're going to take the money. Let's buy some stocks, baby. Harkonnen stock market. Let's get it. And we'll build a Cerberus. Just got to be careful with him. And the last building here. So the oppression is going down. The spacing build branch doesn't have to be in this region, I don't think. Yeah, anywhere and anywhere. Okay, so it doesn't need to be here. Missile turret doesn't feel particularly useful. We need a statecraft building here to uh, get the benefit of that village. Yes. All right, let's redeploy you. The Cerberus are there. All these villages. Fully built villages for the Harkonnens will give us a bonus because of the um, the Mason Guild. We'll get plus 10 Solari per. Let's see if this guy can solo that. I guess we just wait for the Cerberus. Yeah, we're playing the stock market, man. We're doing it. Um, we've almost caught House Carino. I usually don't play stock market too much, but it should be fun. We'll, we'll give it a try. Hmm... Agent Crute Speed is nice there. All right, Cerberus Buddy's almost done. 72 Solari from that base is money. That is just, that is big bucks right there, guys. All right. So I need to micro the Cerberus because they're like super glass cannon. They die really quick. Military developments are slowed right now. Enhanced question is going down. And then we can go for, um, we'll get a little bit military action. Cerberus are really cool, though. So when these guys die, they split into, like, smaller versions of themselves, and it gives you good sustained DPS. All right, so 500 here. Let's keep building up that main base. Take the uh, fields here and get our spacing guild branch built. All right, so this will give us three production and authority gain, or three gold per village. Yeah, once the, the stock market, once you're a Chome board member, you get pretty sauced off that, for sure. Get a gunner. House of Trades wants to trade with me. What are they offering? They're offering Plascrete for. Oh no, hell no. They're trying to trying to buy my Plascrete. All right, let's keep buying stocks. We have the money. We're just sitting on it. And once we get to ten percent, we get a mercenaries and we get influence production. So we just need to buy a little bit more, and we can get that bonus for the ten percent. Let's do that. Did we get it? Sweet. So now we have plus two influence production. Uh, Space and Guild Branch, yes, that's what we want. So we can get the dreaded Harkonnen Air Force. Um, water, yeah, we can get water here too. Landsrad's coming up, so... Yeah, nothing that we want to apply corruption to, I don't think. No, I've never heard of that, Lucas, no. All right, so that's looking good. Look at all the resources we're getting from that node up there. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Chome, so we, we have all of our agents going. Water, um, we're going to need it in this village in a minute. There's a spice field down there. We have this unique site. I don't want to start a border war with the Emperor right now. My military isn't super good at the moment. Um, so I think we just can capture some of these neighboring ones. We got our close and safe, even though they don't really have anything super exciting. I'm hoping they'll be able to get the job done. All right, here we go. Yeah, we can build water traps here too. Too poor in the stock market at the moment. You could always sell shares when the prices are high, you can sell and you know make your money back. And it's kind of cool how that system works. Um, hegemony. Now yeah, we're up there. Atreides and smugglers, pretty much everybody's kind of doing okay in that department. All right, cool. So those guys won. We need to get more militia there. Yes, yeah, so we're going to vote ourselves for this. For the uh, building cost reduction. It's really good. It's insanely good. And uh, we need to get more militia here because this keeps, like, rebelling. And we need to make sure we don't lose that. 
in oppressing the poor and investing the profits in the stock market. I know we're playing the Americans here. <laughs> here we go, baby. Let's gamble. Um, okay, so that's good. Spying Mastery does give us a maximum of five agents, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. This village per military building, so we're gonna get you. What do you need? And uh, slap you guys down as well. Somebody just scanned my main base. Oh, it's probably the smugglers. They probably want to um, set up their little undercities in my empire. That's pretty funny. Yeah. All right, cool. Is our space and guild branch done? Not quite yet. Oh, forgot to build the water building. Although our water just suddenly increased for some reason, so it's all good. I'm not gonna ask questions. Let's let's, let's take it. And um. Finish the spacing guilds. All right, let's get water. Uh, and then the rest of the base needs to be economy buildings. All right, so what do we want to trade? Spice? We can trade intel. We have excess intel or uh, influence for uh, ship parts. Yeah, the smugglers are the most loyal of friends you could possibly ask for, absolutely. But you see how big my garrisons are as the Harkonnens? You can get pretty fat garrisons. Adri is maybe going to move to my border. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to keep my base a little bit tighter and safer this time. I felt like last couple, last game, I just went too wide and got owned. All right. So fuel cell factory will be next. We got the space and guild branch. Our military is alive and well. And uh, yeah, now we're, we're popping financially. We're doing good. Yeah, do we want to go statecraft here? Yeah, we can do statecraft here. So... Knowledge and hegemony gains. Let's go ahead and do intelligence agency. It's very good for playing Harkonnen politics. And we can also, with Harkonnen, threaten assassination, which the more I'm like talking about playing them, I'm kind of like, man, the Fremen do seem pretty one-dimensional. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get another trooper. That's going to finish. That's going to give us some nice water. Yeah, smugglers, smugglers are setting up spies in my lands. It's hilarious. Um, do we need Plascrete anymore? I don't know if we really do. Could get the um, the maintenance center. Wouldn't be bad. Um, now here we can go ahead. Do we want to oppress this base? <sighs> yeah, probably. We have enough manpower now that we could start oppressing like everything. Oppressing. This one is not being oppressed. These people are too relaxed back here. We need to we need to give them a little Harkonnen love. Right when, you know, things start to get comfortable in the Harkonnen, you know, Dominion, you just whip that shit out and you call it a day. Yeah, I don't know why that stopped trading there. That was weird. 184 to take that one. And we also want to make sure we have max militia on every base to make sure the profits are flowing. And yeah, looks good to me. Let's get a water trap here. And all's good. Could start raiding again. Probably a good idea. Let's just continue the raiding. Um, so now we can assign agents to... We'll just assign agents to everyone. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way here. Cerberus pull back. We don't want to lose them for no reason. Uh, next region, we probably take the spice field down here. It's still... It's not insignificant. Um, let's buy some stocks. So we're at 13%. We actually are the biggest stock market moguls right now. We're we're laughing all the way to the stock market. And we have good garrisons, like <laughs> they tried to form labor unions, oh god. Yeah, you see how we get intel too when we uh when we hit a village? It's really nice. Um so let's get supply drop ready to go. Sleeper agent's a pretty fun one. Let's get the fuel cell factory here. Is there any more fuel cell areas around us? This one, I think, is data center and hegemony. We don't really care about that one. I don't want to make borders with anyone quite yet. The Chungus Harkonnen just wants to play the stock market and be rich. Okay, so that's good. Um, that gives us command posts. Let's go ahead and get spying mastery. Infiltration cells. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we can go down here. Let's get some political. We can play politics this game too. We want to like have the option for um, governor or um, okay. So we're gonna go get the spice field now. 
Heading down there. Our lands rat influence, not what it once was. Let's put some corruption on this, so whoever wins that gets uh, loses lands rat standing. How's everyone's lands rat standing doing? I'm actually the highest. What the hell? So I could offer I could offer the emperor a non-aggression pact. We're gonna do it for now because it will benefit us both. Hopefully, with what I'm doing, it'll benefit me more. But I'm, again, I'm not sure. Let's see if he takes it. He accepted it. All right, so we have a non-aggression with Carino. Which will hopefully s kind of slow down any any crazy aggression early. And that will give us uh, plus counsel each uh, each round. So it'll probably benefit them more, but it's all good. We'll see. We'll, see. we'll play it by ear. Uh, Landsrad standing. Let's redeploy you. Stock that up. And then Landsrad whispers, yeah, let's just get more in the Landsrad. And agents assigned on Landsrad give 100% more intel. It's really nice. It's very, very nice. Okay, all factions gain. So we're going to vote one on that. And uh, so we're going to vote for the... Wait. Yeah, I'm going to vote for the smugglers on, <laughs> on this. Yeah, why not? That's fine. And then that will make me money because of their uh, their their bounty they just put on it. All right, so we got those guys all sauced up. I'm going to need to get some airfields in my southernmost territories. Otherwise, we're going to kind of be uh we're going to be in some in some trouble. Waiting target. All right, let's grab that. Ready for destruction. Oh, yes, classic Harkonnens, everything on fire. But somehow it just works. Oh, big daddy. We can get the overlord, dude. Yes. Do we want to take the Overlord into the Atreides lands and just raid them? Is that what's going down here? All right, unassigned agent. Oh, did we brainwash an agent? Oh, looks like we might have. Yeah, we, we brainwashed somebody's agent and took him. That's funny. Yeah, all right. How are we looking? Yep, uh, let's do that. You already have agents investigating something else, so we'll have to do that. Take the spice. So we're gonna get the spice economy going. Construction possible here. Uh, plus intel, 100% chance to cap, chance to brainwash captured agents. Um, I think we want the embassy for the lands rat standing, and then probably the research center. Knowledge is just always good, so going for that is nice. Dude, my car is the overlord. I think we'll wait and see. Are all our villages fully built out? Okay, so we need a maintenance center here. Would be good. So let's get that maintenance center. Oh, we already have one there, okay. Any sense in oppressing that region? Yeah, probably. Hey, because the thing is, every time I kill rebels, I'm making money. So if I'm, you're kind of just always wanting to oppress everything, you know, with the uh, old Harkonnens. Although it does eat into your manpower a lot. Yeah, so maybe we don't do it everywhere. Mm, other buildings, we have water here. We can get the Slary building. Resolve that, and um, I know we had the siege one in our territory somewhere. Let's do that. Ready for destruction. Deal with the rebels, dude. You guys know you want the Overlord of Doom. All right, airfield down here, so we can bounce around as needed. All right, and this one, any unique money here? Ten percent resource gain in this region. Yeah, feeling pretty good. I mean, Hadrius is just extending like a giant phallus all the way through the map here. <laughs> he's he's having a good time. Let's buy some more stocks. We're at fourteen percent. If we can get the the board member, that's gonna be really good. That will be fat indeed. All right, we better just grab whatever territories we can before this map just straight up runs out of space, dude. Um, maybe taking this would be prudent. It is 150, so it's going to be a minute before we get that, but if somebody does come at us, we can get the Overlord. God, it feels good to be rich, man. With the Fremen, I was just always poor. With the Harkonnens, you're just like a cackling, just, you know, financial guru here, dude. All right. Yeah, so we're going to get the Landsrad. 
Insider trading is really good. Chome selling price. Um, we want, probably want to get the Chome buying price too. So let's get Landsrad Whispers and then we can go down and do that. Go down the eco tree. And we can build this up like to be a very um, solid border defense uh, village here. All right, so do we want to oppress it? Probably, yes. Although our manpower sucks really bad, so let's get some manpower wherever we don't have it. We do not have manpower here, um, but we're getting a shit ton of water. Space and Guild Branch, we can probably stop delivering the favors now. Because we have enough to build what we're looking for. Buy some spice, sure, why not? And uh, let's take our troops, wherever the hell they are. You can just leave one guy here to capture this once we get enough authority. And uh, we got some drops we need to get over here. Go, go, agents. Let's do counterintelligence. Oh, God. Who's done this to me, dude? Who is this? Who dares? You guys seeing this shit? Oh, so troll. <laughs> Somebody just deployed a thumper? Why would you do this? What if he hate? I don't see Hadri's doing that. It, it doesn't seem like his style here. Without that, just seemed like a troll, which was funny. But it's um, yeah, that's that's pretty hilarious. All right, so yeah, we got the the rebellions going, which is good. You can keep buying from the stock market. We've gotten 10k hegemony. We're not the best on hegemony, which is good. You don't want to be. It's just like the movies. If you get too big on yourself, the Emperor's going to come in and just drop the steel chair on you, so. All right. Looks good. Yay, lovely rebellions all over the place. I wonder who did the thumping. I, I mean, I don't know if it was worth it, but it was um, it was funny. Certainly got that going for you. This one will give us some goodies. Um, the Atreides? I feel like... Who did that? Let's see. Who did that? I'm going to see if anybody will fess up to it. <laughs> who who did it? Do we really need Plascrete? I mean, we do have, yeah, plus one Plascrete per economy building. I don't know, man. Um, and uh, Maintenance Center would probably be good here as a final hoorah. I got thumped, dude. I got thumped in the face. I don't know who did it, but it's like a murder mystery movie. Um, down here, this is a pretty good water region, so we probably want to grab that as a backup plan. Stocks are cheap right now, so we're going to buy. Buy while it's down. Um, currently, we're sitting at 18%. Um, I have the council. Hell yeah, give me the eye of the council, dude. Hell yeah, I don't have a lot of influence at the moment, but hopefully that can change. Okay, so over here, um, we're probably going to want to get turrets and just like hunker down and have that be like our, our border, our really entrenched border. Cursed storms, just trolling everything. Any sense in taking that? Not now, we could just basically farm it for resources. Let's keep the Cerberus back. Nobody fessed up to it. I thought somebody... Hadrius just dropped another Imperial base right in the middle of the map. That's so troll. <laughs> Running out of space here, boys. You can see our economy is pretty good, though, despite not playing the... Um, let's get that. Executioners are so cool. The elite Harkonnen troops. We ca Did we capture another agent? You have captured an agent of the smugglers. Oh, my God. They're, the smugglers are spying on me, dude. It, I feel like it's the smugglers player, because he knows I can't get to him easily, so he's just, like, cackling. All right. Um, possible developments... Let's go ahead and get the uh, Landsrad standing after each council. Yes. We would love to be the eye of the council. We'll see if we can make it happen. For you, Baron. Let's pillage that, take it down. I really want to build an overlord, but the upkeep is super expensive. So I feel like it's not worth it until I'm in a time of war. It's definitely the smugglers who are spying on me though. They're, they're very suspicious. Um, do we have any water in this region? Not really, let's just build a market. Play it smart. You know, there is some incentive here. 
I'm boosting your eco, he says. Yeah, oh, I see. Okay, fair play. Fair play. Uh, do we oppress this? I don't know if we need to. I think we can just build the market there. Because otherwise I'll have like no manpower when the fighting starts. Oh, I just got new agents. Yes. Land's rad. And Chom. That's what we're all about, dude. So we're going to get modular parts, which will let us sauce our harvesters. Lose 150 intel. Did I get Eye of the Council? I did. Uh, that's where the two agents came from. So now I'm on the Eye of the Council, which is good. So I can protect my um, political interests with that. Trades on the southern border. Buy some stocks. Why the hell not? We can't. The stock train can't slow down. What does he want? He wants influence for an agent. Oh, he's trying to. He's trying to buy his agent back. Yeah, no, thank you. If he's spying on me, it, it means he probably wants to assassinate me. So, um, we can't have that going. Take some landsrad standing. So now we are um, high tier landsrad standing. So we should have. It should help our stocks and all that stuff. Okay, do we want to do a military base here? Probably not a bad idea, because that is for sure where they would attack from. So, it's obviously not the most economically wise thing to build right now, but... What do, you need? do this. Scavenge that, and then we can discover a siege here too. I would love to get that spice field up there. It's a little bit of a hard to defend spot. 182. For you, Baron. Probably going to want airfields in the front. So we have an airfield in the south. We have one central, and we're going to want one north as well. We're ready, Baron. Nobody fessed up to that. Nobody fessed up to the uh, to the Haggard Thumper trolling. No, oh, should have done the siege one. That was stupid. Oh, well, I thought that's what I was clicking on. Okay, so we have the full political forums going here. Now let's get the full barracks. We could probably steamroll some people military-wise. Currently, we're I of the council, which is great. Manpower deficit because uh, we have rebellions to be expected. Taking on the emperor's imperial base would be hard. He's pretty strong. I don't know how he's planning on winning. Atreides um, would be very lore friendly for me to go after, but like the Emperor is like literally right up in my face. So that seems like it could be the prudent play. Okay, per military building and um, let's get the maintenance center. Holy shit, did our rebels die here? How the hell did our militia lose? They always win those fights. Oh, it. I have a feeling the smugglers are doing something to my militias. They're setting the explosive traps or something, maybe. I don't know. What do we have? Architectural survey? Okay. Clean that out. And we need to we need to resupply the militias here. Water Sellers Union. I don't know if I'm actually eligible for that. I might be. Yeah, it looks like we are, which I'll definitely try and win. Yeah, well, Harkonnens get a ton of intel because of the... Um, Toxic Vapors is really good. And um, we can get combat drugs too. For you, Baron. There's definitely some smuggler funny business here. He's he's betraying me, dude. He's role-playing Skaven. We'll do as you order. So we could get the big gunship. I'm happy to just keep buying stocks. So I'm at 20%. I'm crushing the stock market, I think. Um... If we can get 30% and then do like a military timing push with that, that's going to be pretty nuts. Okay, we don't need to invest in any upgrades yet until we fight. Smugglers are definitely trolling me somehow, dude. I don't know where, but it's happening. Alright, so that'll be open for now soon. Could take this little haggard center territory here. Or go get those spice fields, which seem way better. I don't think I have any airstrips up there. No, nope, not at the moment. All right, so we need to win Water Sellers Union. We should be able to. We just have way more votes than everybody else. We're going to put a bit into that, and then we're going to support this too once we get a little bit more um, lands, Chad. Okay. 
Construction possible. Could get the Intel. Could also get the Harvester crew one, which we don't care too much about. Yeah, since one of these rebels putting up such a good fight against my garrisons, usually the Harkonnen garrisons crush the rebellions, but I need to be careful not to do too many of those oppression buildings. It's easy to just get a full chub for them, you know. Let's go help clear this one out. Uh, you know what I can do to stop that is I can go down and get the border defenses, like all the militia upgrades. That'll that'll make sure they win. Cause it's getting a little dicey there. Not gonna lie. No water here, but we do have an intel center, so this data center would be good because it's a special region. All right, let's bash that. Head up here. Grab this. The Trades are being very peaceful, like, and they're not threatening me politically either. Like, I have the political advantage over them, so I, I'm feeling somewhat confident in that regard. Oh, well, I would imagine the smugglers... Okay, Hadrius is taking that, so unless I want to go all-out war, I'm not going to get it. Although I'm pretty... Last time my Harkonnen fought the Imperials, I was able to do well, so maybe we could win, but... Yeah, we got all the intel. We have the Toxic Vapors, which is a really good one. Harkonnens are just solid. Um, anything I want to get here in this little region here? Yeah, let's go like hard in the politics. Although, I don't know if I can fill up that region. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to. Alright, let's we'll slap that in there. I have nothing else to do. Stonks are a little bit high right now. So buying them probably wouldn't be prudent. Um, let's just grab one of our neighboring villages, these just haggard ones. We'll, you know, go for uh, for that. Our spice economy sucks anyways. Yeah, we don't have the resources for that. So let's see how we're doing politically. So we're the Water Sellers Union and the Eye of the Council right now. That's pretty fat. We just have to be ready to fight like a big Chungus Carino army. Oh, it looks like there's uh, some renegades coming out to attack us. Because Hadrius will for sure betray us. We saw it last game. It, Take that, and then you guys go over there and capture this. We should hold, though. Our militia there is pretty jacked. Yeah, and this will lower our chum price. Uh, so that's good. I know, the, the smugglers probably have shit going on here. Hadrius is for sure the biggest threat, I think. He's he's vast, although Atreides has really good hegemony too. Atreides are very peaceful though, typically. Yeah, I have so many of these political buffs, it's crazy. All right, let's buy some stocks. We got this. Um, first and foremost, let's go ahead and get that. Need to max these out. Cleaning out that town. Really, really need more manpower. So we're going to just get manpower and no more of those oppression villages. It's 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 just it's too tempting. It's like the ring, dude. Losing thousand slary, gaining an agent with politics. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Get some lands rad standing. Stock prices are down. Time to buy, baby. Let's buy. So almost at the 30, we're at 23%. So we're going to get a 15% military power spike when that goes. And that's just, it's just cackling time. All right, cool. The 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 rats in the walls are, are scouting me again. Um, we need militia up here. What do you need? Looks like I lost the military. wasn't wasn't paying attention. And uh, I'm gonna hold off on buying stocks for for now. Prices are going back up. All right, cool. So once these two bad boys finish, we should be pretty sauced. We only have to worry about rebellions in the regions that um, have the oppression. Construction possible. All right. So the statecraft upgrades are going, and we can actually get... Yeah, you know, we need to get the military upgrade here, the barracks. Not barracks, excuse me. The um, Yeah, we don't have the right tech for that right now. The Harkonnen day traders. It's basically what's going down. We're just we're just day trading, dude. Yeah, having a, having a good old jolly time here. Wow, we lost two militia there. Jeez. Okay, that's a border vulnerability. Okay, that's a little little suspicious there. 
I definitely am not not enjoying that. Um, we do have the toxic vapors. So he's got a okay, Sardaukar and yeah, he's got a big army. We're currently at peace, but you know, you know what peace means. Doesn't stand for a whole lot. All right, let's get you, and um, then we can go ahead and get the um, sleep agent if need be. I think it's time to summon the dreaded overlord. Just release it from the deeps one last time. All right. Let's get that. Unfortunately, we're stretched a little bit thin. Let's go ahead and get a turret here. Cool, so the militia here are being rebuilt. Should have fuel cells. And now it's time for the dreaded overlord. Yeah, because we could, Hadri's kind of looks like he's a little angry on our border. Granted, we have plenty of ways of slowing them down. It's just, um, yeah, it's gonna be gonna be dicey. Okay. He's got a big military, boys. Big old military. Mercenaries, what are they requirement? They have any upkeep or anything like that? Hmm, not sure. All right, the judge of the council would be Carino. So definitely don't want that. Let's get some Lanzarad. The Lanzarad guard would be very helpful. The big man is on its way, the big warship. Come on, militia. I need those militia upgrades like stat. Well, this, this shit needs to finish like right now. But the mothership should be able to help us uh, maintain our, our lands for sure. Upkeep is this on, on 20 on that? Yeah. Let's get some mercs. As long as you pay. I like it. I like the attitude. Okay, I think with the Overlord we should be able to to defend ourselves. Almost there. Yeah, let's go crush those rebellions. We have a shit ton of plascrete. I could sell it to the smugglers now if they were if they were interested in that. Let's do a military base. Um, let's just get one militia in there for now so it doesn't instantly go. So now we need to get the border defense upgrades so we can win border skirmishes with um, with these bad boys. Because I'm happy to turtle and play the stock market. What are we at now? We're at uh, 24%. Okay. Oh, yeah, dude. Big daddy's here. Hell yeah. Let's go. They probably don't have theirs yet. So I think I could win a fight. Yeah, so let's get those Lanzarad guards just while we stabilize our empire. All right. We need to get some militia here for sure. Knowledge building here doesn't hurt. Plascrete, we're totally fine on. Water is going to be necessary if I start losing territories. Hadrius is leaving. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't sure if he was going to get get really ornery with me here, but it does not look like that's going to be the case. All right, so no judge of the council for Hadris, and uh, we get the Landsrad guard. So now we're pretty safe against attack. The problem is, like, the smugglers aren't threatening him. It's the same thing as last game. He's being left, so if I go attack Atreides, I'm vulnerable. I kind of just have to sit here and chill out. Plus one manpower. The village has one building of each type, so we need to get this, uh, this all saturated out. Cool, and then we can just throw in a regular militia there in a second. Cool. What do you need? All right, guys. We'll do as you Is there anything we want to raid? Not really. We're pretty much as expanded as we're going to get without warfare. Um, it, we could get into battle soon. Construction's possible here. I think I want to wait and see. Yeah, local hubs is coming, and then we get the civilian defense forces. That'll make it so our militia typically win all their fights. Like, they're going to get a huge buff on stats. We won't have to worry so much. Ready, we might have to fight the Emperor's troopers. Oh, hello. Never mind. Oh, look, they're all running out of supplies. Oh, he's not paying attention. Okay. We do have an airfield down there, though. So if he goes, we can fly down. Oh! <laughs> That's so funny, dude. He just got shy-haluted. 
Holy shit, are they trying to assassinate me? Oh my god, dude. All right, so we need to just throw another guy up there and then uh, cell search. How dare you, smugglers? All right, so let's let's go down here, and then um, we're gonna have you go here. So basically, we have to find their cells. So we just fan out to all of our cities with units, and do the cell search. It's pretty troll, but hopefully it'll work, and we can get them down. Yeah, harpy spam worked well. We might get assassinated here, though. We'll see. I've I've haven't dealt with this in a while, um, but we'll find out. That's for sure. All right, so we got troopers heading to the cities. It's going strong. He's at yeah a fair amount. We do have two in counterintelligence, which is nice. And we'll do the cell search here. Usually people put them on the uh, the corner areas, like up here in the bushes. Yeah, we might have to sacrifice agents to make this go a little bit quicker too. And, um, yeah, smugglers typically will assassinate, is what you'll see. He's already losing progress on it. Okay. So, do we have another cell search? Can we do that again? So, do we sacrifice an agent? Yeah, we can sacrifice a Landsrat agent. Alright, so let's do this. Nope. Do that again. I don't think I... I'm not sure if I can check it. Like, can I check it without having scouted it? Huh. He's losing a lot of progress, though, because of my counterintelligence agents. So that's that's something that's good, at least. The Overlord is watching. watching. Alright, so I the Council is up. We need to win that. Alright, so we checked this one. So now let's go check this one here and check them all. Gotta catch them all. Yeah, I'll sack the brainwashed one next. It's what it's what's the in the is in the books. All right, so let's get you guys. Let's buy some stocks, cause why the hell not? Smuggler's attempt is fading quickly. Oh, the Landsrad guard can't check these bases, but this guy can. Okay, so he yeah, that's weird. Oh, the Landsrad guard aren't capable of checking. Okay, we found one of his cells. The Landsrad guard guys are just not able to check. It doesn't look like. Yeah, we found one of the cells, which is great. Um, let's go to our armory too and get these guys tossed up and ready to fight. Cool. And now we need to do the cell search. And uh, we can get him in here. Do this and get you up there. Outstanding. Alright, so the brainwashed agent has been sacrificed. Let's vote for ourselves here. It's a lot of chaos going on, I'm not going to lie. A lot of chaos. And uh, did we already check this one? We already did, yeah. I think we're going to hang out here. And um, I wish I had another counterintelligence agent. That would be nice. How's the attempt coming along? He's down to 25%, so I don't think he's going to make it. But we need to just keep checking all these places. Yeah, usually you can like kind of click on them. Okay, so cell search. You attack here to help defend this. Okay, how are we looking on the attempt? He's down to 22%. I don't think he's going to get it. I think we're fine. I think we're okay. It, okay, we just found a cell right here, so... Yeah, we need to remove that. We found another one of his little rat's nest cells. And uh, let's keep the cell search going. Don't need to sacrifice any more agents for that. Probably should get the counterintelligence. So we're going to do that just in case he tries to get me again. This is definitely slowing me down, though. The fact that I'm having to deal with this. Yeah, he's he's at 17 progress factor, plus we just found another cell. The nukes could come at some point. We don't know when. Um, so this is like fine. We can cut that and get a turret down here because I suspect the Atreides would try and get us from there. So this is going to put his mission down to like basically nothing once we get rid of that cell. Yeah, that is down. All right. 
Infiltration cell found. Uh, I don't know if he's like able to do another one, but let's fly down there just to be safe and double check that. We found the cell there. All right, cool. I don't know what territories we checked all around. I don't think we checked this one. Resource deficit because of the rebellion. It'll come back in a second. And his attempts at 12%. Okay. His progress is four. He would have to send more assassins, that's right, to the territories. Shit, but during all this, I don't know what Hadrius has been up to. Hadrius is crushing it on hegemony, of course. Too bad I can't still uh, have full level of infiltration. Yeah, that's probably because we, we got rid of it. I think he's basically dead in the water, guys. Like, it's not, I, I don't need to, the panic is gone. I was going to give our militia, make our militia stronger. This manpower in the village has one building of each type, so we need to get a eco building here. Um, we can just go ahead and get a market. Yeah, this game gets wild, dude. He's down to 9% progress factor. I almost want to, I, I almost want a vengeance nuke. That would be very funny. All right, we should probably just keep going, like keep doing this though, just to see if we can find, I think there's one cell left. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, that slows us down. It looks like he's at 8% now. And we'll get another agent on counterintelligence soon once we get that tech. All right, let's redeploy you. Looks fine. Um, he's down to 7%. Yeah, he got pretty far. We were we were somewhat prepared for it. Like, we had some agents on counter intel, but it definitely wasn't enough. It was getting real shady. All right, did we win the, the vote, by the way? No, we didn't. I don't think we won that. We still have Water Cellar and I have the council, though, which is great, so... All right, let's get some military, make sure we're we're chilling. Hadrius might be coming for me, I'm not sure. But I do have my my dread warship. He's gathering my borders, it's very suspicious. But I have strong borders, like very strong borders. Yeah, he's down to 5%. I'll keep kind of like passively looking around. Oh, okay. So we found his last infiltration cell. Shouldn't it be here? It just said it was. Infiltration cell. We got that one earlier, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can't click on that, so I guess we're chilling. We're gonna have to do battle, some battling soon. Yeah, he's gonna, he's just gonna give up on that at some point. Alright, so now we're getting countermeasures. Let's go ahead and get you guys, get some Cerberus mixed in there, because they're cool as hell. And we're going to need to find a way to get some command points or something. Our army's kind of small. Uh, next land rad, Speaker of the Council is definitely something you want. Let's buy some stocks. I'm at 27%, so we're going to get a good... Oh, what the hell is this? Somebody supply dropping the desert here? It looks like somebody might be trying to cross the great, the great beyond there. Um, we can probably start getting rid of some Plascrete buildings since we won't be building too much anymore and just switching them into more useful techs. Um, yeah, like knowledge. Knowledge is good. Are they still going? Progress factor is 84%. 83%. Oh, they're going again. Interesting. So maybe he sent... Yeah, we captured a smuggler agent. Alright, so we need to do that. Whoa, what the hell? Did we just capture like a shit ton of agents? Looks like we might have. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Uh. Sure. And sure. Carino's getting close to hegemony. That assassination attempt is still going strong. Ah, there's so many things popping up. It's anarchy! Okay. And um, let's get you. Keep the cell search going. 
Looks like we're fine here. Let's get some more demo militia. I don't know if he's able to set up more infiltration cells. Oh, there we go. Now I'm able to click on it. Okay. There it is. There it is. And there it is. Okay. There we go. That should shut that shit down for good. I think we just got like all of his agents. Hadries will win with Hedge. We gotta, we gotta play into the politics. Okay, we just got rid of all those infiltration cells. Not sure how we got them up again, but I, I, I had sworn I had gotten those. All right, two Landsrad Punishers, sure. Looks fine. Infiltration cell removed, and we should get rid of this other one here in a second. And that should be all of it. Okay. Investigation completed. Does it slow it down, actually? It's hard to tell. And uh, now main base buildings. Might as well slap more down. I'm probably going to have to attack Hadrius in the middle. Assassination canceled. All right. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We've stopped the dreaded assassination. The Baron lives to fight another day. Okay, did we win the Speaker of the Council? I don't know if we did. Let's check. That's a scary part for Hadrius. Oh, wow. They, who actually voted against that? Oh, it was mainly just Hadrius. Yeah. Surprised the, the, the smugglers have a hard-on for me. I'm not sure why. But we need to get a bigger military because we are just really, really small in the military game right now. We have a good elite army, like a small elite force. Um, but we need more. We'll do as you order. He's got his airships and stuff, but we have toxic vapors and a couple other things. All right, decoy thumper, probably a good call. Baron. Don't know if we need to worry. Yeah, we got rid of all the ratty infiltration cells. Man, we got poor all of a sudden. <laughs> Holy shit, we, we went too deep in the stock market. Smugglers, why this? I am not even in the lead. Why? Why is he doing this? Why is the smuggler player just targeting me? I mean, I don't mind, I guess. It's just... <laughs> Hadrius is just going to win. Look at Hadrius. He's like sitting in the middle with all this hegemony and... Oh my god. He's, he's infiltrating me again. Alright, so let's, uh, let's hold here. Should be all right. Money's looking bad. It has gotten bleak here. It has. Uh, I believe we could make harpies, but they do have 20 upkeep. I got ears everywhere. Yeah, somehow I don't believe that. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, so the, they produce a slightly less. We'll get mass counterintelligence. Um, we want to keep our intel. I have to keep a big standing army because of how good this, this force here is. Can we get rid of all these like annoying pop-ups here? Okay. I don't know why our money got so bad. What is actually costing us right now? Recruitment offices, armies. Yeah, I guess our armies are expensive. Assumed our economy was better, but is there some sort of negative trait applying at the moment? Huh. I don't know if that's the case. Um, down here we have that. We have this. This is being oppressed. But that's partially what's helping us financially. Thankfully, the rebels dying is giving us money. So that's like how the Harkonnens kind of stay afloat. Is with these rebellion uh, parties. See, yeah, infiltrations. Is he, is he trying again? It gave me the option to mouse over it for a second and then it went away. Thankfully, we don't have too many territories we have to manage. But, um, yeah, Carino is definitely the biggest threat right now. Hopefully the smugglers will realize that. Because he's got, like, such big map control. And Hegemony is closing in. Probably has craft workshops. Command point, recruitment initiative. We could go full Scorched Earth Arconan. See, now we're positive. I don't even know what changed. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. 
Spice is flowing, it is. We only have two spice fields, though. Our spice economy isn't, like, amazing. Ah, uh, we're so close to the 30%, too. Okay. Holder is immune to negative effects through other resolutions. It's nice. Uh, that army is pretty big. He's got his big mothership, too. We do have a lot of guild favor. So we're fine there. All right. Let's see here. Okay, let's keep this going. Keep cruising around here. Iron all these out. We need to go grab just whatever resources we have laying around here. Cursed sandworms. All right, so let's just grab whatever scraps we can find. Anything else laying around? Not really. There is this. Yeah, it's Plascrete. It's something. Promising politician, losing influence, and gain political mastermind agent. That's actually not bad. You can go on the lands, Rad. Give us more influence. Stock market's not going to happen right now. Our money is just randomly going up and down, just Harkon and things. Let's deploy you. Yeah, without going into war, I feel like we're not super strong at the moment. The power of the stock market has failed ever since I had to build a big military. What's the upkeep on these guys? Big boys? Oh, it's 40 upkeep. Okay. So let's uh let's let's like soften the military a little bit for now. Okay, man points coming. We'll get all the goodies. We'll try and vote judge of the council again. Carino's eligible too, though. So. All right. One authority. Yeah, we don't care about authority at all. So we're just gonna try and vote ourselves in. We'll see. I don't actually have that much. It's it's like a weird bug. Clear out the peasants. Yes, we're clearing them out. Money's coming back. Slowly but surely. Probably just get rid of Plascrete buildings. And um, do we need intel for any reason? Not at all, dude. Not at all. Water, upkeep, knowledge is always good. Oh, hello. Let's not get our army eaten. That's one way to fix your economy. I wonder what Tron's up to. I have no idea what Tron's up to on the south side. Um, in the main base, is there anything we want to build? Spice exchange, harvester, crew stuff. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff right there. Deploy. Don't think we have the best chance of winning this. It's going to be tight, but we'll try. It's kind of weird how that buggy that is when you try and like spam click it. Yeah, there you go. Um... He's at 23k hedge. We're gonna have to do something soon. He's Hadrius is getting danger, dangerously close to winning on the uh, hegemony. Hopefully, the other uh, nations will see this. Because I, I'm, if I spend all my resources, I may be able to fight him evenly. But infiltration cell, really? Infiltration cells. Yeah, I mean, I could do infiltration cells on my own, but assassinating is pretty damn hard. On our way. What do you need? Um, I wonder if the smugglers will help, though, is the question. Or are they just going to cackle in the shadows and just let us let us die? Because Carino has one of the strongest militaries. They, they get two bases. They have Sardaukar. Very frightening stuff. Okay, we got some random Landsrad guards. Which hopefully won't cost too much. Our economy is coming back up again. We're going to have to get rid of that middle polar cap. Yeah, we need this. We need these upgrades before we fight. Mm. Yeah, the Overlord's, the Overlord's a, a cool big, big boy unit. Okay, let's pop you in there. Is there anything else we really need here? Manpower is... We could do this just for the money. Because I think we're okay on manpower now. I do have all my uh, my missions ready. Most of the key ones. We're going to have to take on Carino, though. And this is the dangerous part about jumping ahead early, so water regulations. Yeah, it's fine. We, don't, we have 500 authority. We're not taking anything anyways. Um, 
So that will be until the uh, next council call. All right, so that looks good. Let's get you guys. Do we want to get harpies? They're really expensive upkeep wise, although they're not too bad. Let's slap a couple of harpies down. Yes, more rebellions. Go, my precious, go. Parallel training slots is coming. Construction complete. Construction complete. So now we have a pretty good military base. Um, nothing's going on up north, just militia battling, making us that sweet money. Let's farm them, boys. The South Park. I haven't seen the South Park parody of Dune. I haven't seen that. I have not. All right. Oh, I don't want to build another one of those. As a matter of fact, we could just assign those to our um, spice crawlers, probably. Yeah, alrighty. So let's go ahead and slap this down. Hark, you're going to take governor. Def not. You guys have votes. I can't stop your hedge with votes. Yeah, Hadrius is playing politics. He's, he's doing good. It's definitely not true, though. Um, I don't think I'm like anywhere close to the governorship. Come on, parallel training. We don't have too many supply points right now. These stupid storms are so troll. Okay, how are we looking everywhere? It looks like the Atreides are setting up uh, an invasion force of sorts. New lands ride council, governorship. And um, we want to do gear regulations on the um, on uh, whoever we're fighting, basically. I think we have the most influence. Let's see. He's sitting at 144. I'm at 188. Yeah, I have more than Carino. So I, I'm not even going to vote for governorship for myself. I'm, I'm going to decline it. Because it's uh, it would be foolish for me to make enemies like that. All right. Um, the gunners are upgraded. We don't have too many other upgrades at the moment. Stocks. Give me that 30%. It's such a nice buff. <laughs> Spice is Tom Brady. It's pretty ridiculous. Okay. Crawler is going. Rumored attack. Lose intel, gain influence. Yes, please. I need that influence to break the, uh, the alliance here. Let's grab these goodies. We'll do that. Outstanding. We have our harpies. Um, the Atreides is at the borders. This is the scary part about being first in line. I don't know why we're having a... Oh, it's because of the planes, isn't it? Yeah, so we need to delete one of these, sadly. Otherwise, our other planes will suck. Alright, grab it and grab it. Yep. Alright, let's just go hard in the paint on that. I am gonna. I'm. I'm hoping. Um. I'm just gonna decline that governorship. All right. So let's get you, you, and you. Um. We can get some Cerberus upgrades too, because we'll have a couple of them mixed in. Resolve that. Give it to me, Precious and Cerberus. Max health. What is that? Max health. Oh yeah, power. That's actually good, because yeah, I think that's fine. Spice, and that's going to give me money. Ah, uh, so close. All right, so how are we looking here? That will help us for sure. That's a pretty substantial one if it manages to pull off. Damn rebellions everywhere. It's just the Harkonnen lifestyle. Resource deficit. Everything's on fire! Ah! Alright, so we... I definitely want to keep counterintelligence maxed out, because... These guys have just been having too much fun at my expense. Lands rad judges. Mm, they cost influence. I'd rather keep that resource. Okay, so we need to finish this voting cycle. There's no way anybody should be able to match my votes on that.
going for governorship now would be like going for a wonder victory when like everybody's still alive in Age of Empires. You know? Okay, so Carino should be afflicted by the, the weakness right now. By the wasting sickness. <laughs> All right, it's go time. Um, we don't have enough to break the uh, the pact at the moment. Yeah, no, we don't. It's fine. We will soon. Let's get the last of the stonks. And now we have the the Landsrad boys too. Okay, so we need a little bit of politics. I don't know why my fuel cell factories are suffering so. My base has been so small this game. It's been so tiny. He's probably battling the smugglers. We'll do that. I need some influence. <laughs> I need some influence. Because I'm playing politics, so I can't like I can't just backstab him without it, it would cost a hundred to get rid of that. Alright, what do we want to do? Training slots? Yeah. Sounds good. Anything. Let's throw those bad boys in there. Can we buy is this gonna put me up thirty? Oh yeah, we got the so now we get we get the um the military power. So our military is super strong right now. All right, so where are we at? He's got a military bases here, no surprises. We'll get in position. So we got the 30% of the stock market, which means our uh, influence will be uh, have a higher cap and things are just gonna be better in general. Okay, okay, we must go. The Harkonnen, the Harkonnen stroking the insecurities of, uh, of all the others is, is the perfectly accurate. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's just drop a little bit of this. We see the decoy thumper being dropped here, so we need to move away. Let's get that again. Should be fine. We're safe under the base. So Hadrius knows that he's the dark wizard now. Um, I'm afraid to move off. The thumper is going to last a moment longer. We'll just move up and attack uh, up north. We could even fly up here. Let's do this. Do that. And drop this. Come on. Do it. Do it. There we go. All right. Thumper is going to wear off in a second. I accidentally used the toxic shit right there, which is pretty unfortunate, but um, it is what it is. I don't mind fighting his army. I don't know if I can win, but um, we're going to test. I think his army is just bigger than mine at the moment. All right. So decoy thumper is about to wear off. I, that's what I meant to click in that territory, by the way, was the decoy thumper. But yeah, hopefully everybody else is attacking. I'll do my best. I don't have a huge like bank reserve. His army looks pretty good. Hopefully the others are going. Because this is going to be a rough fight. I think his army is just bigger than mine. Yeah, it is. It is. He's very close to hedge victory. Um, I, the council, will take that. Yeah, his army is pretty good. I'm going to need a full force. So we'll wait till we get all those guys. Come on, give it to me, baby. Okay, so those troopers should be finishing up at the main base. Oh, he's got gear regulations right now, though, too. So his, his army's going to be a bit weaker. So as long as his stupid storm doesn't chase me. Yeah, Hadrius is green out right now. Yeah. With the Dark Lords. He's going for the, the Sacred Region, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll head this way. Uh, we can't do the decoy thumper there, which is unfortunate. We're gonna move into this territory and just basically have Mortal Kombat now. Cause I have a, I have a pretty big army now. All right, let's do this and um, and let's grab all of our gunners. Don't know how this is going. I honestly have no idea. 
He's going after the Overlord, but it seems to be hanging in there. Yeah, his army's too big. It's it's his army's colossal. Somebody else is gonna have to help me. He's he's just so big. It's scary here. We'll de do a decoy thumper even. I mean, we did some damage, but he's just got he's got too much going on. I don't think the uh, the military supply thing actually went down. Uh, you guys need to attack. I'll keep trying, of course, but it ain't gonna be easy. That's for damn sure. All right, so we got a second wave of troopers coming out. We have a little bit of money left. Let's do Eye of the Council. Yeah, let's do that. He's at 25k hegemony. Okay, let's deploy this. The frame rate? Yeah. Um, yeah, his army is pretty jacked. He's all healing up now. All right, so we got another wave of troopers coming out. I don't know where this guy is. Oh, just got eaten by a worm. Nice. The classics. Just doing stuff. All right. Probably needed a bigger army. I assume gear, gear regulations might have failed on him. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, they want intel? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. You can have it. You can have the intel, buddy. Yeah, he's got a military base there, too. So the big man's going to head up that way. He might need to... These agents... How the hell, how the hell did my agents get captured? Oh, it must have been some weird weird thing. I don't know. Let's get back on the spacing guild so we have our good actions. Okay, so we got the uh, judge of the council. So we get agents or something. Um, can we get toxic vapors? Yes. And then we want to get supply drop. Administrative burden is a really good one too. We're hanging in there, boys. I'm gonna go push here. Somebody, somebody's got to go though. It's go time. The Harkonnens will keep throwing their their troops like cannon fodder. Yeah, we have stem pack. It's pretty cool. Our intel is very low right now though. I would imagine it probably has an airfield up here. Um, we do not have a military base, which is unfortunate. So let's cut that. And get the military base. I don't know if it'll finish before the fighting starts, but it is what it is. We got to try. Carino can get just terrifying militaries. It's really hard to stop them at a certain point. There's like early game opportunities, but... Oh boy. Okay. A random ass sandworm is coming for me. Oh, and bombards, which means he's probably not nearby. Alright, let's bash these guys. Move on to the base. Toxic Vapors to wear down his army. And then we put an administrative bird on so we can't rebuild his troops. Because we're going to lose this fight, but we need to just, you know, do some damage here. He is so strong, man. Yeah, it's nobody's kept him in check, including myself this game. Oh, we killed the Militia, and the Toxic Gas will kill a couple of those. Let's do the uh, Decimation Protocols. So we're killing units because of the toxic gas thing. It's probably going to take down a couple of his units here. Yep, they're starting to fall. And we're going to rebuild. We need we need some we need some milk though. I'm at 29%. Oh, I lost my 30%. There it is. Okay, we got that back now. Let's make some lands chad judges. And do we have enough to do anything here? Oh man. You guys better do something. Oh no, Atreides disconnected! Come on! Come on now! He, he, he does nothing to stop him and then he disconnects! <laughs> no! He's at 26k, he's getting close. Alright, um, alright, let's go ahead and get the... Yeah, we need the intel, we can't afford to do that. Oh, we got these like house legionnaire guys. They're cool. I don't know what the hell they do, but At your service. oh, he's rebuilding that. No problem. Hey, looks like some rebels are taking this base here. Let's go. Let's go assist their cause. And we do have the military base there. 
we need supply drop. Decoy thumpers are always useful. Oh, I haven't been paying my taxes like a good boy, huh? All right. The Carino Death Star, dude. Look at this shit. How the hell do you stop that? That's so savage. I guess his troops are uh, doing governorship is up. I, I might need to just go for governorship and hope. Uh, let's try and get a non-aggression here. Yeah, cool. Did we get it? No, I don't think he wanted it. Is he back? Did he reconnect? Oh, he reconnected. Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, Landsrad standing, manpower and intel. We kind of need both those resources. Yeah, your agents can get captured when they use. Um, Hadri saying he may get assassinated. That's pretty funny. I'm going to keep the pressure on, even if I'm losing. It's the Harkonnen way. It's just to throw their people into the, uh, to the slaughter. So we need to just keep the pressure on them. Here comes the haggard, the haggard force. Oh no, never mind. He's sitting right there. <laughs> He's quite literally waiting here. His little planes are there. What the hell is this communication jamming? Oh, it blocks all stuff in the region. He's at ninety-two percent assassination. Okay, we need to keep Hadri's busy then. Okay. Oh, my agents are free. We have to just keep trolling around, making it not not easy for him. Oh no, he picked some. Oh, he killed one of my shitty Cerberus guys. The dread ship cometh, guys. Yeah, judges are pretty good, from what I've uh, from what I understand. All right, if he wants to fight me on my base, I think I could win, or hold him back. No oh god. Oh, Hadrian's got assassinated! Oh god! Oh my god, bro! He actually got it! Holy shit! Oh my Okay, well apparently there are ways to deal with the, uh, the big scaries. Oh my god! Oh my god! That actually works? Are you serious? Oh dear god! GG Hadris, yeah, yeah, you were you were, you were a terror, dude. I mean, Karina, your armies, the Karina armies, it's just nobody could stop them, dude. Holy shit, I'm like nervous now. Am I gonna? Am I next? I feel like I'm next. He's coming for me. Let's go scavenge Karina's bases now, like the rat we are. Well, he tried it against me and failed earlier, so I assumed it wasn't gonna work. Um, but yeah, that 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 certainly worked. I don't know if they're, they're going to be able to vote me out of governor now, which will be hard, especially since I'm eye of the council, but... I wouldn't have won governor if Hadrius was still in the game, that's for sure. He would just vote me down. Um, smugglers aren't going to probably send standing armies at me. Alright, so we got governorship. This is like the most Harkonnen shit ever. It's just like... Everything's going bad and then just like... You know, suddenly... Some treachery happens and uh... Yeah. I was very rich, but Hadrius had a better, much better military than me, that's for damn sure. For you, Baron. They were like elite, he wasn't really... And plus I was always fighting in his territory, so I was just getting kind of dunked on by that. Um, which sucked, you know. So all of Hadrius' territories count as just having been destroyed, so you, you interestingly enough, can't no take way, those yet. On our way. Smugglers are going to try and assassinate me. Uh-huh. Did he actually take that non-aggression pact with me? I don't think he did. Probably gonna wish he did. We have like a huge scary army here. Alright, so I have the counterintelligence going pretty well. No, well, sometimes you if when you get ahead like that though, Hadris, you gotta like slow your roll. That's what I've noticed. You gotta like You gotta like not get that close to hedge victory and like start building power in less and more discreet ways whether it be like politics or um oh shit okay hold on i didn't even oh yeah okay i can attack 
Um, so obviously there's going to be infiltration cells. Look, <laughs> you see what Tron says? He's like, holy fuck. Hey, it's just like, it's just like the movies, dude. It's just like the movies. All right, so let's just like roll through here and take all these bases. Head down here. How are we looking up top? Looking pretty secure now. You could keep buying stonks. We have 30% of the stock market right now, which is good. These fucking worms, dude. God. I don't mind using the Landsraid Guard here. Although, yeah, they are costing me quite a bit. No, it's just those two. So we're just gonna go beat up, try and beat up the Atreides a little bit and see if that works out for us. We see them gathering here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, liberate this. At your service. The Atreides might come for, for me, I'm not sure. They might come to fight. Oh, the smugglers are getting close. See, they're preparing to attack with whatever they, the kind of army they have. Governorship, I should be able to reroll it. Ready, I have a big ass army here. <laughs> Anything to please you, Baron. Well, dude knows. Hadri's the, the smugglers got me down. They almost killed me earlier. You obviously weren't watching the stream, but I got brought down to the pits, dude. I was at like 60, 70% on the assassination meter. All right, so this is gonna be a pretty, pretty big bully beat down here. Yeah, yeah, you can see his army's just a lot smaller. All right, so Landsrad, uh, loss of rights is the one we would need to vote against. But Atreides might be able to screw me on that, I'm not sure. Apparently I get some penalty here for... Okay, still scrapping. These house legionnaires are really cool. I don't, I don't know what exactly they do, but... Oh, he said GG. I don't know if he left or whatever, but... Um, we'll just kill his main base as if he's still here. All right, so we'll keep the buildings he had set up here. Smugglers are going to be getting close soon. The influence is building, albeit very slowly. And uh, we need to get this. I have the toxic vapor ready for the smugglers. And what does he have in this? He probably built the base more or less optimally, right? Manpower of the village of each type? Yeah, it's all right. This one could probably go, and this one can go at this point. They're really not too useful. Okay, so we got that down a little bit that with everything we got with all the muscle the smugglers there might actually be able to vote me down here all right so let's peace out I don't need to lose my army here I don't know why he left it's like the game isn't necessarily over he could reconnect but uh, it's each their own because he's probably gonna beat me on the loss of rights here I thought I yeah might be able to Let's just do this too, just to see if we can squeak that one by. Then it would just be me versus the dreaded smugglers. Ready, I, I never got valuable trinkets, did I? Do I even have that as the Harkonnens? There is an airfield here. Um, so we need to go punish the smugglers a little bit. Let's fly out of here. Can we not fly? Can we fly? Okay, so we need to do this. Is there any water that we need here? Anything of note? I don't know why I did that to get perfect lands Chad standing. Let's start buying some stonks. We can probably win with stocks too. And then we'll get a missile turret down there to kind of close it out. All right, so the overlord needs to return. Having a small army here is actually nice because I'm not losing too much. I'm going to go take that smuggler hegemony territory they just went for. 
But I think it's time to turn up the gas a little bit. Uh, he might muscle me down. He's got more influence. Yeah. The smugglers can get a bit. You see, yeah, he, he stopped it, so. We still got a game, boys. We still got a game. Oh, the Atreides are attacking me. Hey, Atreides. Hey, little buddy. You want a non-aggression pact? Maybe they do. I'm not sure. We'll find out today. Definitely going to buy some stonks. Keep trying to get our way up there. Another is... Oh, shit. I just detected that. Okay. So we need to go ahead and sacrifice you. And there's no more space for this operation? Shit. All right. Scavenger team. Peace out. And uh, we need to go ahead and do that. I don't know why it's not appearing there. There we are. All right. So let's see if we can detect it. Looks like suspicion here. We need to get our army moving across and starting to pound him. And yeah, because he's got all the infiltration cells going. The Atreides. See if we can just get this non-aggression with them. And uh, yeah, now we just move south and see if we can stop this. Could be anywhere. So we're going to keep doing the research, the cells, while we run across the lands. We got to just beeline for the smugglers because they might get us here. They're looking pretty good, to be honest. And we need to get some troopers just to check the infiltration cells. All right. Yeah, it's a shame there's no spectator mode for this game. It'd be great. Okay, keep buying a little bit of that. Infiltration cell suspicion, so maybe we'll be able to do something. Who knows? All right, so this is not a, the best spot to probably um, probably deal with that. All right, so yeah, we'll have the troops coming out. The cells will continue trying. The progression factor is going down because of counterintelligence. Uh, leave order. Yeah, we don't give a shit about that. It's fine. Come on. Oh, and it's neighbors. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so we see where we need to investigate. We see two spots, I think. Yeah, two. We see two of his cells. We don't need ornithopters anymore. Let's go investigate and uh, investigate here. As we keep our uh, our big bully beatdown goon squad moving across the map. Alright, so we only need to leave like one guy here really to take this. And what do we want to do? Yeah, we need to keep scouting with those those cells. Our belly is full of stings. So cool. Okay, so those two cells are going to be taken down. That should slow the progress pretty heavily. He's just like, base is just in shambles. I can't even attack it because the AI is just giving it the business. I see his army. It looks pretty small. He gave me another dreaded leave order. Uh, Judge of the Council, War of Assassins. Okay. So we're getting in to do battle. We need to take a base right next to his main base and build an airfield so we can start pounding it. And hold position. All right. So that's being decapped. You're coming across. Um, we do get the two cells, but we should get another one here. That's always a nice one. Let's do cell search. So we could do it here. Hmm, yeah, okay, we didn't find anything. I'm pretty sure it was just those two. Need to get in there. Do this. Damn turret. It's annoying when you're trying to capture shit right next to the main base. You gotta like fan it out in a weird way. Alright. So that one has been taken in the middle. The tradies are just trolling about. Um, this one's being annexed, slowly but surely. This lands rad guard just has a hard on and wants to kill the enemy base. All right, so the assassination attempt's going pretty strong again. At your service. So we're going to need another uh, scout here in a second. Ooh, yeah, let's just get rid of the leave order. It's pretty dog shit. And cell search. I don't know how we got the progress back up. How 
Could have sworn I was there. Uh-huh. It's fine. Redeploy. We're gonna just have to lay a bully beat down on his main base here in a second. Don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll find out. He's making progress, but he keeps slowing down. Does he have an airfield here? He does not. Shit, we're gonna have to get one up soon. Development complete. Um, yeah, I don't know. Insider trading, sure. We're gonna miss our uh, our payment. Got a nice bit of stealth units. Yeah, he's getting close. So cell search again. Wonder if it's the same spots. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, so let's delete this. Build a million Harkonnen uh, soldiers here. Attack in. And we can go ahead and do the um, administrative burden so we can't rebuild shit. And did I have the main base damaging thing? Shit, we didn't do that. It's fine, we're gonna get a, quite a bit of damage on it here though. We need to spread out, spread out. Do this and focus on the cell searches again. I don't know how he's still making such good progress with, um, despite this. It's really impressive. I'm gonna have to ask him after the game. Cell search failed. Cell search failed. Yeah, we removed it. I guess it's because he got the assassins closer, right? Aye, aye, aye. I guess we're all hands on deck here. Yeah, we're just all hands on deck here. We gotta just destroy this shit. All right, so let's get you guys in here. Do this, and it'll be ready in a second. Oh God, it's getting tight. It's getting real close. Come on, team. Finish. Finish airfield of the gods. We need you to finish. Come on. Come on. Gonna literally fly shit right under his base here. Oh, it's so close! Infiltration still sells, sells suspicious, but I don't have any troopers around at the moment. All right, let's get a couple troops. He's currently sitting at 44% progress factor, so it's slowing down. We're about to get a big damage uh, buff here on the base, so we'll do the, um, the defense breach. Okay, it's gonna take 30% more damage now. We might be able to get it. I feel like the cell search at this point is pointless. Oh my god, look how close this is. Holy shit, kill him. Kill him. Let's get some judges. All hands on deck, baby. All DPS we can get, he's at 95. Yeah, I, at this point I'm just going for it. He must have assassins in position, is what's happening here. Holy shit! I don't know if we're gonna get it. If he gets it, he probably just wins. Yeah, magnifying glass mark next to the... Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, see, I don't have any of those there. Oh, there's one here, shit. Yeah, I could have stopped it. Whatever, we're all in on the DPS, baby. Oh god, oh god, oh god, the supplies, supplies. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, we don't want to lose the units. Oh, supply drop for the win. He's at 98! Let's do the decimation protocols. We don't have anything for the main base. It's all hands on deck. 99! Oh dear god! Look at that! Come on, Harkonnens! Oh, we did it! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh man, we did it! Oh god, dude. Holy god, that was so close. <laughs> oh dear god I was just so hyper focused on so many things I was missing the little details oh god we did it GG that was so close oh my god the Baron once again eludes death damn dude that was close I'm gonna go check in with the lady real quick and see if we have time for one more before we uh, potentially go do something so hang tight Oh my god, dude. That was the closest Dune game I've ever had.
All right, guys. I think that's a good note to end on. Um, for now, I'm gonna. The lady and I are gonna jam and go grab some dinner. But um, yeah, this sets up the sequel nicely, dude. Ducky, Ducky almost got us, dude. Jesus. Without Ducky, though, Hadrius would have won too. He um, he managed to. Uh, I was surprised he tried to assassinate me so early. It kind of put me on like, I, if he didn't do that, I wouldn't have been as prepared later because it made me nervous. Boomstar, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Dukes of Haggard. Appreciate it. Great way to help out if you guys want to is uh, channel member stuff. And um, we'll be back soon. We'll stream some Dune again this week. Man, next few days. We'll see when uh, everyone's free. But overall, that was a lot of fun. We'll be back tomorrow, probably with Total War, Age of Empires, and then we'll do some Dune midweek. Um, maybe play some Packins I haven't played too much. Carino seems so strong, dude. It's like every game when I see Carino, they're just like these huge tyrants. I don't know what it is, but... They are just powerhouses and their militaries and yeah, it's wild. Those mortar drones too, they do a lot of damage. All right guys, take care of yourselves. See you next time, GG well played. And uh, yeah, there's the, the fat Baron for you. See you guys next time.